and they expressed last week against the Chicago Bears, so I'm sure we're going to see a fine game. You drafted some of these Saints. You coached them. Is there any team that has better players in the skill positions? Well, I'm a little prejudiced, Kurt, but I sincerely feel that no team in professional football has better ability at the skill positions than the New Orleans Saints. All right, let's go down on the field. And we see a stiff 15 mile an hour breeze from the goal to your right. That's the goal that'll be defended by the New Orleans Saints in the first period. Green Bay won the toss. They want the ball, so they'll receive. The Saints will be in white, Green Bay in the dark, or green jerseys, and spreading out now to receive this kickoff. Be Steve Odom. And kicking off will be Galbraith, and we're going to explain about Erksleben. He has a pulled muscle. The rookie will not play today. It's a short kick. Odom is going to take it on his 15. Steve Odom of Utah. He's up to the 20, to the 25, to the 30, trying to get outside. He's up to the 35, and it's filled out of bounds. But it's a fine return after the short kick. And already the Saints have missed Ertz Laban in the game. Tony Galbraith, who uh, kicked off that time, was involved in making the tackle along with Kim Jones. And uh, the Green Bay Packers have it and ready to go. There's the backfield for Green Bay. David Whitehurst to the quarterback. Barty Smith, number 33. Turdell Middleton will be the other running back. Lofton and Andre Thompson, the wide receivers. Paul Kaufman, the tight end. They play against a 4-3 defense of the Saints. Coming in motion is Thompson, the wide receiver. Whitehurst will throw on first down against the flex. Out it goes, and it is a completed pass. He hits James Lofton beautifully. Out of bounds on the St. 48, first down Green Bay. Lofton uh, had a big day against the Saints last year, Hank. Yes, it was a play-action pass. He rolled to his right, and Lofton just went down the field and ran an outside move on uh, Clarence Chapman, and he made the reception. A good start for the Green Bay Packers. First down Green Bay on the New Orleans 48-yard line. Lofton this year is always going to be on the right. That's him trotting to the... Bottom of your screen, off to the wide receiver left. Whitehurst, off to Barty Smith, the big fullback. Not very fast, but a lot of power. Plows his way to the 42-yard line of the Saints. It'll be second down four for Green Bay. And here's the offensive line coming up now. Don Carr is the left tackle. Mel Jackson, the left guard. Larry McCarron, the offensive captain, the center. Go forth is the right guard, and Greg Cook is the right tackle. Derlin Moore made that last tackle, number 74. Second down, four. The Packers on the Saints, 42, no score early. Lofton coming in motion. We have an offside. The right end is offside of the Saints. Joe Campbell was offside, number 73. Yeah, he charged, trying to get back. Trying to anticipate a rush, beat the snap, but they caught him. And it's offside against the New Orleans Saints, which should give Green Bay a first down. Ben Dreith is a referee today. Bob Boylston, the umpire. Frank Glover, the head linesman. Bill Reynolds, the line judge. Stan Javi, the back judge. Ed Ward, the side judge. And Pat Millett, the field judge. Let's just double check on Cam. 75, defense offside. Well, it was Campbell. They called it 75, but there's no 75 out there. It's 73, Joe Campbell. Price is 75, not on the end, though. First down, Green Bay on the New Orleans 36-yard line. And we're in the first minute of play here at County Stadium, Milwaukee. Thompson in motion. Whitehurst will throw. A big rush on him. Shakes loose. Scrambling out. Trying to get a block. He's going to be pinned on out of bounds for a loss on the 42-yard line of the Saints. And driving him out is the right linebacker, Pat Hughes, number 54. A loss of six, second and 16. Let's set the defense there. Up front, at left end, will be Alois Grooms, number 78. Alex Price, number 75, the left tackle. Derlin Moore, 74, the right tackle. And the right end, number 73, Joe Campbell. Merlo. Better Spiel and Hughes are the linebackers. Chapman and Gray, the cornerbacks, Schwartz and Myers, the safety men. That's New Orleans on defense. And they won. A 
stiffer defense today. They had it on the last play. Second and 16. Whitehurst right into the hands of number 54, Pat Hughes, who intercepts in the 25. He's up to the 30 and down to the 31. There's your first turnover of the game. Interception by the right outside linebacker, Pat Hughes. Pat Hughes really got terrific depth on the play, which a linebacker has to do to help the defensive back. He was going back at his normal position in good shape, got good depth, came up with a beautiful interception. I was able to maintain possession of it, run laterally a little bit, but he makes a nice play. But a good defensive look by Pat Hughes. Number right. 54. We'll be back to watch New Orleans with the ball. There's no score. <laughs> New Orleans ball on her own 32-yard line. Archie Manning will be the quarterback. The running back, Chuck Muncie, 42. Tony Galbraith, number 34. They should run right. Let's see if they do. And it's a cutback. There's a split coming through, breaking the ball in a fumble. Ezra Johnson made the hit on Tony Galbraith, number 34. Mr. Everything, they call him, Tony Galbraith. Let's take a look at the rest of the offense. That's the backfield we already gave you. Wide receivers, Wes Chandler, what a day he had last week. Over 200 yards receiving. He's 89. Ike Harris is 82. And the tight end is Henry Childs, 85. First down, New Orleans on the Green Bay. 48-yard line. Standard set. Out it goes. Quick pitch to West Chandler. Chandler trying to cut back. He's at the 50. He can go with the ball. And he's down in the 46-yard line. One of his secrets is not only leaping ability and speed, but his great talent of running with the ball after he catches it. Here's a play action quick screen. The, the play action fake was very poor. They throw the ball outside, however, to Chandler. He's supposed to go inside the block of the right tackle, but he reverses his field and tries to get what he can out of the play. And uh, now it's second down for the Saints. All right, Harris is to the right this time, and Chandler left. They're running out of the I formation. Now Muncy going in motion. The pitch is to Galbraith. He's at the 45. Galbraith is at the 40 and may have the first down, Tony Galbraith. He and uh, Muncy were drafted by uh, Hank Scram the same year, 76. Muncy a number one pick, Galbra the number two pick, and they're quite a tandem in that backfield. You know, Muncy went in motion that time, and they gave a, switch, a quick uh, pitch to the fullback, Tony Galbraith. Nice blocking at the point of attack by Dobler and Robert Wood, and uh, a nice gain on the play. New Orleans moving the ball. There's the, uh, the linebackers, Weaver, Hunt, and Douglas for Green Bay. And the secondary, they're quick, they're hard hitters. Hood, McCoy, Luke, and Gray. Two first downs in a row for the New Orleans Saints. That's the straight give. And look at New Orleans move this ball on the ground. And Tony Galbraith again. Really, the strength of the Packer defense is really the, their defensive ends. Butler and Ezra Johnson are excellent people. Here's a play just straight ahead. Watch it give it to Tony Galbraith. Good blocking there by the offensive center. John Hill did a great job of taking his man beyond the hole. He cut back inside and made a nice game. But really, the strength of this defensive team of the Packers, Butler, 77, the left end and right end, Ezra Johnson. The two tackles inside are big and strong, not very active, do not provide much rush in the passer, and they ought to be able to do a good job of running outside those tackles anytime they want to. Second down two, New Orleans inside the 30. Dalbroth again hits over the 25 and to the 24 for a first down. Steve Luke, the strong safety who led Green Bay in team tackles last year, led the team in tackles, had to come up from the strong safety to make that stop, and New Orleans continues to move. They have the ball now on the Packer 23. First down, there's no score early in the first period. One other observation, Kurt. Steve Luke is going to have a busy time trying to cover Henry Childs when they do throw to him because Henry is uh, very explosive, a terrific receiver, and uh, Luke is not a past, good pass defensive man. Manning looks them over. Chandler has it. He's on the 20. Chandler sprints to the 15, and he's down to the 13. 
Wes Chandler didn't start last year, but how he got going, he was the number three pick in the entire draft, caught 35 passes the last half of the season, had 205 yards against Atlanta last Sunday, an all-time New Orleans yardage record for a receiver in one game, and he's destined to be one of the great receivers over the next few years in the National Football League. Ike Harris goes out. Rich Motti comes in now as a wide receiver. The Saints have the ball. They're on the Green Bay 14, first down New Orleans. The defensive backs, both Estes Hood and Mike McCoy, are playing very loose. They ought to be able to throw in front of them, just like they have uh, very often in this football game. And they send Dauber straight ahead again. He's hit by Mike Douglas, the right linebacker. Galbraith around the 10-yard line. This telecast presented by authority of the National Football League. It's intended for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the express written consent of the Packers and the National Football League prohibit. Just short of the 10. You always advance the ball officially to the next yard line. Looks like the 10 and a half, but they call it the 10 officially. So it's first down again. Orleans on the Green Bay 10. Here's the option play out to Muncie. Muncie's at the 10. And he's stopped at the seven yard line by Mike McCoy, the right cornerback from Colorado, a fourth year player. Muncie's family is here, his brother, his brother, and uh, we saw them in the coffee shop today, all here to watch him play. Mike Douglas, the right linebacker, came up and missed the tackle, forced Muncie inside, but he still was able to make some yardage on the play. Second down, seven. Quite a drive here by the Saints. 8.28 to go in the first period. Pat Hughes intercepted a pass. New Orleans took the ball in the 32, and they've just grounded down. Mostly on the ground with the running of Tony Galbraith. Second down, seven. No score. Here's a bump and run again. They might. No, they don't. A counter play. Gary Weaver smelled that one out, number 53. Or Mike Douglas, number 53. And he's right on Tony Galbraith. He wanted it to look like a, a hitch out there. Well, there was a bump and run defense, and I'm surprised that Archie didn't change the, ball, the play on the line of scrimmage and try to get the ball over the top, but he didn't. Ran a counter play, and there you see Gary Weaver coming in and making the tackle. A great play by Gary Weaver, number 52. Galbraith goes out, and Kim Jones comes in. Colorado State, he'll be number 32. Third down and nine. They're in a uh, double slot now. Putting Ike Harris in motion. And they're going to be stopped short of the five. Carl Velasquez, the left tackle, hits Kim Jones. Jones had that carry, number 32. And the Packers finally cool him off on the ground. That was a double wing formation, which means they had a wing back outside of the offensive tackle. They tried to go outside with Kim Jones, and evidently they wanted to save Tony Galbraith for this kicking situation. And in the event they didn't make the first down, they didn't want to use him and get him tired before the kick because he is going to be forced to kick the field goal here because of the injury to Russell Urchler. Urchler, the University of Texas, the number one pick, has a full muscle. Went out at one kick practice kick in uh, warm up time, and his leg hurt. There's Galbraith doing a booting, and uh, he kicks it. Galbraith boots it, a short one, but he drills it through, and New Orleans is on the board. They march to their 32 to the sixth stop, boot the field goal, and the score. New Orleans, Steve Odom is playing. They don't anticipate a booming kick by Tony Galbraith. Odom's is on his 12, and he gets a squibbler. He'll field it on the second hop. Took a high hop. Comes up to the 15, to the 20. He's to the 25, goes down on the 26, and Hank, that second bounce, they went high in the air, helped the Saints. No question about that, and that's a, that's, a that's a good kick. It really is, because you don't have much of an opportunity to return it, and the big bounce, as you mentioned, made him wait and provided the uh, New Orleans team to get better coverage, which they did, and he had no place to go. All right, Green Bay's ball on their own 26-yard line. That last scoring drive, 62 yards, time of possession, and Coach Stram loves this. A little over seven minutes. That's a good possession time on a drive. Yes, and it really helps your defense, which is so important. Green Bay under 26. They're trailing 3-0. David Whiter from Berman. His third year. Marty Smith, the fullback, out to the 40, 40, 45. And down he goes. He had a big hole open, and it's a first down. Green Bay on their own 48. Clarence Chapman, the left cornerback, whirled him down. 
you know, that's an unusual play because you don't usually run back to the weak side with a fullback, but they did a good job, evidently, against their tendencies. Marty Smith does not have excellent speed, but he got around the corner in good shape, and the two right, the right guard, Mel Jackson and Greg Cook, did an excellent job of blocking on the play. 71, you see the block, you see 68, Greg Cook doing a good job, and Clarence Chapman finally knocks him out of bounds or makes the tackle, but a nice game. First down, Green Bay on their 48. Cordell Middleton plows over his right guard and reaches the 46-yard line of the Saints. That'll be a five-yard gain. Second down, five. And our first score is in Washington and the Lions. The Lions leading at the Silver Dome 3-0 in the first period. Both teams losers last week in their opening games. The Lions to Tampa Bay. Washington lost a squeaker to the Houston Oilers. Second and five. In this game, we have 5.15 to play in the first period. New Orleans is out in front, 3-0 on a 20 golf with field goal. Marty Smith flags are down. Get out a little motion in there. A one-yard gain for Barty Smith. Sixth year from Richmond, 6'4", 240 pounds. Derlin Moore that time, number 74, was involved in the tackle. At that time, they ran at the bubble or ran at the flex defense where there's a lineman off the line of scrimmage, but they did a good job of containing the play and stopping it at the line of scrimmage. Doug Coder just scored a touchdown. Point good. Outside, defense, number 74, at the first down. I wonder we got in there so fast. Right. Offsides on the defense. Gerland Moore, the right tackle. Giants lead the Cardinals 7 0 early in the first period. All right, Green Bay's ball. On the Saints 41. First down. Sanders broke set. Now a strong right with a tight end. Hoffman going to the right side. Marty Smith on the pitch. He's tripped up at the 41, and a fine defensive play there. Fine defensive play. Joe Federspiel came in here nicely and made the play. It was exactly the same sweep that they ran before to the right. This time they run it to the left, but watch Federspiel. Nobody touches him. He comes in and makes a beautiful tackle on the play. Joe Federspiel, the middle linebacker, number 58. He had 14 unassisted tackles last week against the Falcons. Second down, 10 for the Packers. On the New Orleans 40-yard line. Try to change the play with a long signal count. There's a very difficult catch for Barty Smith coming out of the backfield. He had five catches against the Bears last week. But, Hank, that's one of the toughest catches there is, that leaning over trying to grab the shoot-top ball. Yeah, if you're going to throw a ball to the back, you have to throw it at the numbers about a yard out in front so he can catch it in stride. And really, Whitehurst that time prematurely decided that he was going to throw the ball to the right side to Barty Smith. And really, uh, Middleton, the left halfback, was wide open in the left flat, but he didn't look at it. There's the pitch. A little low, couldn't maintain possession. Now Green Bay has, has the ball again. Three receivers in the game. And uh, New Orleans has their prevent in. Reggie Mathis has come in. Ralph McGill, David Whitehurst under a big rush, throws a deep bomb, and it's incomplete to Thompson. And Green Bay stalls at the St. 40-yard line with a fourth and 10. At New England, Grogan just hit Harold Jackson with a 49-yarder. They kick the point. The Patriots lead the New York Jets 7-0, nine minutes to go in the first period. Punt formation. David Beverly will be doing the kicking. And uh, Rich Motti. Now, wait a minute. It's going to be Chandler. They weren't going to use Chandler because he has to punt today. He's going to do everything but hang up the number. Look out! Nearly blocked. A twisting spiral. Fair catch call for by Chandler on the 15. Chandler will catch passes. He will run back punts. He will run back kickoffs. And he will punt today. First down coming up for New Orleans on their own 15-yard line, and New Orleans in the lead, 3-0. Beautiful day here in Milwaukee. Temperature about 70 degrees, a little tinge of coolness in the air, perfect for football. Sun drenched and up to the line of scrimmage of the Saints on their own 15. They had quite a march the first time they had the ball. They changed their defense. They're now in an odd spacing, and they're going to the right side with Chuck Muncy. Flags are down, Muncy to the 20, 
as he broke through tackles. Muncie can go outside, inside, break tackles. He's just a magnificent running back from the University of California. Estes Hood finally stopped him. The Green Bay Packers have been using an even spacing. They changed that time to a triple stack uh, Oklahoma defense that time, and uh, Archie Manning changed the play to the right side, which was a very good call. However, it looks like there's holding on the play. Muncie carried outside. There's a penalty, however, as we see here. They're off. I think they're offside, Hank. Let's Is that see. what it was? Let's see what they call it. Defense number 65 was tripping. Oh, no, it is tripping. tripping. When he, when he gave the preliminary signal, he had his hand on his hip, but what he was trying to do was get the mic turned on. That's why I thought it was offside, but it's tripping, and it goes back to the seven-yard line, line. Half the distance, or seven-and-a-half-yard line. And now they have a first down and 18 to go. New Orleans on their seven-yard line. <laughs> oh -ho. That's number 77, Mike Butler anticipating the snap. So uh, the Saints, unless they were drawn off, they, they, uh, the Packers are arguing that somebody moved up there to draw Butler offside. Either that or else Archie Manning used a non-rhythm count and did a good job of fooling them, but maybe he fooled themselves. I don't know. It looks like it, get, it is against the Saints. Yep, they were, their argument was of just Right tackle, false start. False start on the right tackle. Yeah, Robert Wood. Robert Woods. He's number uh, 65. Sprain knee. This is his first start this year. And he's from Tennessee State. Now, penalties have put him back to the three and a half yard line. First and 21. Manning throwing out of the end zone. Out to the 10. And out of bounds is Chuck Muncie. Excellent pass catcher coming out of the backfield, number 42. Brought down by Estes Hood, the left cornerback. It was just a pass on the flat to Chuck Muncie, and it's a good play because it's a very high percentage play. And as good as Mun Muncie can run in the open field, it's very difficult to tackle him one-on-one. -on -one, and they pick a nice gain, on, make a nice gain on the play. A good-looking play by Archie Manning to Chuck Muncie. Archie Manning, the player of the year in the National Football Conference last year, is three for three in this game. Giants 14, the Cardinals nothing for Syria. Here's a uh, screen to Muncie. Look at that catch, one-handed. They hit him and knock him down, and he's 13, though. A loss on the play. Mike Hunt and Gary Weaver, the two linebackers in there to screen him and hit it. Yes, it was a screen to Chuck Muncie over here to this side, and Weaver, number 52, really does a fine job. Archie does a good job of acting, goes back into the pocket. Muncie makes a fantastic one-handed leaping catch. But Weaver, number 52, comes in to make the play and uh, keeps it from being a big game. All right, the Packers are playing much better on defense now. The defensive backs are playing very soft. They ought to be able to throw in front of them on early downs especially because they're very deep. This is a third down and 12. Manning gets the protection. Shoots it out. He completes it to Muncie. Muncie trying to get that first down is short. He goes down on his 24-and-a-half yard line hit there. By Howard Sampson, Mince, number 36. Muncie knew where he had to go. He was trying desperately to make the first down. He came very, very close to making it. He might have it. Well, if he does, it'll be that, that point of the ball. The front point of the ball will just meet that uh, yard marker. They Boy, made it. That close. It was just a great play on the part of Muncie. He knew specifically where he had to go. Watch it. It's very deep back there in the secondary. They throw underneath, making a linebacker cover Muncie. And look at this. He fell forward, and that's the important thing. A back must fall forward, not sideways or backward, backwards. That was the difference in the first down. Orleans ball, their own 25-yard line. They were set back to the two and a half. The Steelers lead Houston on a Sidney Thornton run 7-0 in the first period. This score is 3 nothing Saints. Two and a half to go in the first period. Wang down there, Tony Galbraith, who gained, uh, has gained now 47 yards already in the first period. Mike Douglas slanted in the right linebacker, and Ezra Johnson the right end. 27-yard line. Uh, Grogan uh, hit another pass, and New England now has the Jets down in the first period, 14 to nothing. The Saints on their 27, second down eight. I mentioned again, Mike McCoy and uh, Estes Hood are very deep on the offensive formations of the New Orleans Saints. 
They ought to be able to throw in front or inside of them whenever they want. Those are the two cornerbacks. There's draw a draw. Play. Chuck Muncie, 30, 35, and up to the 40-yard line, maybe to the 41. Nice call. Gary Weaver brought him down, along with Mike Douglas. You know, uh, I was reading through some First program, down, Hank, and the draw play was uh, originated as an accident when Otto Graham bumped into Marion Motley one, uh, one game, and uh, he didn't know what to do, so he just sort of handed him the ball. And all the linemen had charged by him, and Motley ran up the middle for big yardage, and that was the birth of the draw play in pro football. They put it in the playbook. Yeah. Here we go. First down, New Orleans, on their own 40. Manning looks, throws. There he is. Pattern, West Chandler has caught his third of the game. Chandler coming across. You can see why he was a high draft pick, the way he moves. Watch, this is a play-action pass, and they throw in front. Throw in front. He comes back away from the fake. Throw in front of the left cornerback, Estes Hood, who has given the receiver, Chandler, a lot of room over there on that side. And, he, and here again, as I mentioned earlier, I hate to belabor the point, but Archie's going to have a field day. Throw in front of those two defensive backs. There you see it again, right at the numbers. A beautiful catch by Chandler, 89, and tackled there by Estes Hood, 38. Mike Strawn has come in, number 33, replacing Chuck Muncy. First down for the Saints, Green Bay's 47. And that is a, a great catch out there. Wes Chandler again. And as Hank Strand is pointing out, the Packer cornerbacks are playing about 10 yards deep. And Muncy is just picking them, especially on Chandler, who sort of goes down and then comes back for the ball a step or two. Well, he's got such great speed, and you have to play him deep and, and to make sure that he doesn't get anything easy. For that reason, they can throw in front anytime they want to, and I'm sure that Archie Manning is recognizing that, he, which he has already, taking advantage of it. Nobody will do a better job of recognizing what they see or what he sees than Archie Manning as an offensive quarterback. That's the end of the first quarter in County Stadium, Milwaukee, and our score, the New Orleans Saints three and the Green Bay Packers nothing. Stram here in County Stadium, Milwaukee. 3-0 the Saints out in front and on the march again. They're on the Green Bay 40-yard line with a second and three. New Orleans has had 66 yards rushing, 52 passing in the first period. It's a well-balanced attack. He ought to run right here. Let's see if he changes and runs to his right. Nope, going the other way. That's Strawn at the 40, and he wriggles forward to the 35 of Green Bay. Mike Douglas finally contained him. That'll be enough or first down for the Saints on the Green Bay 35. That time they were in a triple stack defense, strong to the offensive formation of the Saints to the left, but Archie went to the left in spite of it. But the reason he did was the defensive right end, Ezra Johnson, was tight on the tight end. They felt they could hook him, and he did, and made the yardage outside. First down, Saints back at 35. Defensive backs are, again, very, very soft. Here they are. Out to Chandler, shakes, goes to the 30. Chandler still going. See that move he made when he went around that cornerback? Again, they're playing about eight to 10 yards deep on him. So all uh, Manning does is raise up and fire it out there. Watch it. If they continue to play that way, Chandler's gonna catch so many balls that he's gonna wear some skin off his hands. They're gonna have to get him a baseball glove because <laughs> they can do that anytime he wants to. He's now caught five passes in the game, mostly for short yardage. He caught five for 205 last week. And these then, are, these then are little the, hitches here today. The tough thing then is if they double cover the outside people, then they have to worry about Henry Chow. So it's a dilemma for Green Bay. Second down two. Galbra, 25, 20, first down into the 15. He's having a field day, Tony Galbra, today. Rich Wingo is in there now at middle linebacker. And uh, we have a good block there from Chandler. Watch him here. You can't run outside efficiently unless you get good outside help blocking from your flankers and split ends. Chandler got a piece of the defensive back that time, provided Tony Galbraith with the opportunity to go outside, and he made a nice gain on the play. The Saints are on the Packer 15, first down. They have dominated this game completely. Galbraith. A couple of yards to the 13. He was... Hit standing up, slowed down, and then uh, finally stopped by number 77. With, with their kicking situation the way it is, 
with the kicking situation the way it is, very important for them to do everything they possibly can to get touchdowns instead of field goals. Second, Second down, eight. We'll repeat again. Hertz Laban has a pull muscle. Try to warm up if his leg hurt him, so he is not punting or place kicking today. Number one draft choice, the rookie. This time, uh, Manning has to look. He's looking for Chandler, and he's over his head, and that's the first incomplete pass for Archie Manning. They went a double wing formation that time with the halfback on the wing. He was trying to hit Harris on the right side. Chandler on the left side saw what happened. He saw that he came back to him, tried to make an adjustment, but the ball was thrown over the top incomplete. But he was really trying to hit Ike Harris, 82, in the right flat. Kim Jones comes in, number 32. Tony Galbraith goes out. This, again, is to give Galbraith a breather play in case they have to kick a field goal on fourth down. Have uh, ice on Chuck Muncie's right out over the bench. He may just have a bruise. Strong in motion. Manning will put it up. It's out to Strong. He's banged down on the 11-yard line by Mike Douglas, number 53. And we'll probably have a New Orleans field goal attempt coming up. They flooded the area with a man in motion to the left side and, and uh, hit Mike Strong in the left flat, number 33, but he didn't have enough yardage for the first down, and uh, now they're gonna have to kick another field goal with Tony Galbraith. But I'm sure they are, they're thinking in terms of trying to keep the field goal as short as they possibly can so that it won't be an over, too much of a burden for Tony Galbraith. Galbraith will uh, boot it. He kicked the 23-yarder his first attempt. Tony And it is up. This is a boot that is good. And uh, this one is a 27-yard field goal by Tony Galbraith, who is an emergency kicker today in replacement of Kurt Slavin. Six to nothing. New Orleans in the lead. Another uh, New Orleans drive of over 70 yards. Another good possession time. They've had the ball about 80% of the time in this game. Short kick to Steve Odoms on the 22. To the 30, 35, 40. To the 44 yard line. And Green Bay now is an operating position. And they have to generate some kind of offense. Ralph McGill, that time number 49, made the tackle. But Green Bay has good field position. Green Bay's ball, first down on their 44. David Whitehurst. We were talking to a Bart Starr yesterday, uh, Henry and I, and Starr said he may not have the arms of a Bradshaw or some of these people, but he has intelligence and courage. It's going to take time. He's getting better every year. And we're going to be patient and go with it. A blitz is on. Right down there, they tried a little hitch out here, a short screen, Andre Thompson, 89. The uh, Saints had a blitz on. They try a play-action screen, the fake was very poor. They tried to throw over the top. They had a blitz on, as you mentioned, Kurt. The ball was thrown high, and Tommy Myers comes in and makes the tackle along with Alex Price, number 75. Tom Myers, eighth year from Syracuse, number 37. Second down, nine. U.S. Open Championship Finals coming next. Chris Everett Lloyd versus Tracy Austin Women's Final. Carolitis against McEnroe in the men's final. Whitehurst in the pocket, gets the protection, and he has a first down. He hits Waller Tullis, number 87. One of the fastest players the Packers have ever had. He runs a 40 in 4-3. Tommy Myers makes the tackle. Here we see him going back into the pocket. Nothing fancy. He has plenty of time to throw the ball. No rush, so to speak. Throws the ball outside, and Tommy Myers finally makes the tackle. Let's take a look at this angle. Watch the protection Whitehurst gets there. Perfect pocket protection for him. And with the time, Tullis was open. Joe Campbell really had a shot, but he ran beyond it. Didn't have a, have a chance to come back and make the play. On first down, Middleton scampers to the 40 and to the 39-yard line. Ivory, the number one draft pick. That's a real blow to the Packers. They were really high on him. He carried the ball three times for 24 yards against the Bears. He was hurt not on a contact, but making a cut. He's had his knee operated on, a ligament and a cartilage, and will be out the rest of the season. When you lose a number one pick, that's tough. The Vikings, seven. Chicago, nothing. That's in the uh, first period. 14 to three now. New England over the Jets. 
late in the first period. Again, Cordell Middleton of Memphis State, his third year, 1,000-yard rusher last year. The Packers go on the ground, and they're on the New Orleans 30-yard, 35-yard line. They have a third down and two. There are nine minutes to go in the first half. The score, 6 nothing on two Tony Galbraith field goals. After long, one drive of 70, the other is 75, engineered by Archie Manning. Well, they say Lofton's always on the right. This time, number 80 is lining up on the left in a tight formation. Looks, looks like right. they might run to the left. There's a first down, right good call. Marty Smith slanting left. And the stop was made by Joe Fetterspiel, number 58, the middle linebacker. They spin Lofton in motion to the right and came back to the left side with uh, Smith, Barty Smith, who was a big, strong guy. It was like running with an offensive tackle or a guard in the backfield because he's big and strong and uh, really does a good job of running straight ahead. Ball on the 30, first down. The Packers have a first down. On the New Orleans 31-yard line, eight minutes to go in the first half. Six nothing in favor of the Saints. Whitehurst, right across in a slant. Lost and lost the ball. It's incomplete. No completion. He was sandwiched between two defenders. Hit hard there. Tommy Third Myers. Chapman uh, put a wanger on him. And Tommy Myers came in from the safety position, also number 37, and put. The Put the squeeze on him. Tommy Reedy was was the one that uh, made this made the hit that made him drop the football. Watch it. He throws a slant pass inside. He makes the catch. Watch Tommy. Tommy hits him with a shoulder pad, knocks the ball loose. Second down, ten. Joe Campbell's going out. Don Reese will replace him. Reese gives them a better pass rush in that right end position. Packers on the Saint 31. Second down, ten. Smith, now oh, he's hit there by Pat Hughes, number 54, the linebacker. Hughes chased that play all the way across the field uh, when the man went out in motion, and Barty Smith just didn't have a chance. Pat Hughes really is a very bright, intelligent football player, and it's very difficult to do much business on his side because he reads and reacts and, and pursues so well, and especially to the forward pass. Made a great play there. Alex Price is out, and Mike Fultz comes in now for the Saints. He's had his knee in the cast. He's just practiced his first week, and he's a good one. And they hope that he's going to be all right the rest of the year. Andre Thompson replaces Walter Tullis as a wide receiver for the Packers. Third and 14. Out they go. Everybody's out. There's the pitch to Lofton, and he had no chance for that one. In fact, it was nearly intercepted back there in the secondary by a, a linebacker, Reggie Mathis, the rookie from Oklahoma who dropped deep. He's a Thomas Henderson type of linebacker. Yes, he's got a lot of speed, a lot of quickness, but uh, the quarterback that time, Whitehurst, really threw a bad ball right into the heart of the defense, and they were very lucky that it wasn't intercepted. David Beverly in punt formation. He averaged 35 yards a kick last year. See if he kicks it left. He nearly had a block. That's up in the air, and that ball is uh, into the end zone for the touchback. He was trying to aim it for the left coffin corner, but didn't quite have the angle. So the Saints will take over. They'll be on their own 20-yard line with a first down, and our score remains New Orleans 6 and Green Bay nothing. Number eight, the hook fin of football, they call him Archie. Manning, a legend at the University of Mississippi, probably had about as bad a luck with injuries as any quarterback in recent years. He hung in there. He's made it back. Good enough to be named the NFC Player of the Year last year. What a year he had. Passed for 62% completion. First down right now. He's looked sharp today. He's missed only one pass. Bang ahead. I wonder, Henry, had he chosen baseball? He was an All-American high school shortstop at Drew, Mississippi, offered a $50,000 bonus, but spurned it to go on to Ole Miss to college. I always wonder how good a baseball player he might have been in the Major League. Well, he would have made it as a Major League Baseball player, I assure you, and uh, in conjunction with that, he's also an excellent basketball player and a fine golfer. He's just an athlete. Second down, eight. 
Pirates on their 22. They're ahead 6 0. There it is again. again. That's Ike Harris this time. Goes to work on the other side. He's been Ike pitching Harris. to West Chandler. And now he comes over to Ike Harris in front of Estes Hood, who's laying off the wide receiver. You can just march right down the field doing that kind of thing, really, until they double cover the outside receivers, and then Henry Childs is going to be open down the middle on a big play. They're looking to see if they want a measurement on this. They're putting a couple of tight ends, and I think it's going to be third down and inches to go. Larry Hardy, Brooks Williams, they're going to have three tight ends in there. Oh, wait, they're taking Childs out. Two tight ends. Hardy and Williams. This will be third down and inches. Archie Manning likes to play action in this situation. I don't know whether we'll hear in this field position like it is, but he has done it many times and succeeded in doing a good job. That's an old Bart Starr call. They have the first down. That's Mike Strawn getting the first down. Bart Starr used to be the master, third and a foot to go, third and a yard to go, fake the handoff, peel back, and hit somebody deep. And, and get a touchdown out of it sometimes. Well, the nice thing about short yardage situation is it's one of the few times in a game that you know you're going to get man-for-man -man coverage. You get it a lot of the time, so as a result, you feel if you execute, you ought to be able to get, to get the ball to the guy with a big play, maybe a home run and a touchdown. There's uh, Bart with a check jacket. Eight years as quarterback of the Packers, five of them world champs. First down. See if he runs right this time. No, he's going back to that overshifted side again. Mike Strawn playing in place of the injured Chuck Muncy. Muncy has ice packs on his leg. They say he may not be back in, and Mike Butler makes the hit on him. You know, that's an overshifted defense, uh, Kurt, to the offensive left of the New Orleans Saints, but the tight end Ezra Johnson is playing tight on the tight end Henry Childs. So evidently, Archie thinks they can hook him and get outside, and they did get outside and made a few yards on the play. The Saints are leading the Packers 6-0. Five minutes to go in the first half. We have a second down six. Here's Strong. He, did, he didn't have a chance. In fact, he was slowed up by one of his own men, and Gary Weaver came in to shut him down, and that'll be a loss. Mike Strong. Here's a, a score coming up, Cincinnati-Buffalo. First of all, let's tell you about tonight on CBS. Another hard-hitting edition of 60 Minutes and Archie and Edith Bunker keep the comedy going on all the family. Join Bonnie Franklin for one day at a time. You'll see why when you're looking at CBS, you're looking good. Third down. Six. And he's roll out. out. This is what he was good at in college. He hits deep to Child. The tight end in the 35 of Green Bay. He's down in the 33. Childs, who averaged 16 yards a catch at the tight end last year, but Kansas State got down there deep, and the rollout set it up. The first time Manning has rolled out. Now, they, they roll out to his left, and they had double cover on that side. For that reason, the tight end was wide open, and he makes the catch. Big play, New Orleans. Let's take a look at some other scores. The Vikings 7, the Bears 3 in the second period. Thomas kicked the field goal in that game. The Giants leading the Cardinals 14 to 7. The Otis Brown just ran uh, a yard for a touchdown. And New England 21, the Jets 3 in the second period. Here's a play action pass. Manning shoots it out. Hits his receiver on the 25. With the 20 is Henry Childs. Childs is in the end zone for a touchdown. The tight end has caught two in a row. A 29 yarder. And that one was good for 33 yards. And the Saints now. A play action a pass, faking to the to the left. He rolls to the right. And here again, they're so concerned about the outside receivers that Henry Childs is wide open. Look at that move. Makes a great move inside. Gets a block downfield. And by Rich Marty, it looked like 84. And uh, the rest is history. Into the end zone for the touchdown. Childs ran like Chuck Muncy on that one after he caught the ball. He has very deceptive speed and excellent hands. Tony Galbra. Kicking in place of the injured Erksleben. Up for the point, and he misses the point. It's sliced to the left. So the score remains in Orleans Saints 12. The Green Bay Packers nothing. And now the crowd getting uneasy here wants to see some offense from the Packers. 
We'll have the kickoff by Galbraith. Steve Odom is standing on his 15. Galbraith kicking against uh, wind. Uh, Odom is uh, driven back to his 11. He's out to his 20, 25. He's at the 30, 35. And the Packers will have the ball now. Ball arching man. Here's a 7-3 score. The Vikings lead the Bears in the second period. All Manning has done has complete 12 out of 13 passes for 132 yards, one touchdown. He had 9 out of 11 in the first half against Atlanta last week. If they keep playing like they are defensively, he's allowed to establish a world's record here this afternoon. Green Bay's ball in their 36. They're trailing 12-0. They've had one drive. And that's all. They have not seriously threatened. Whitehurst has pitched to Barty Smith. A 40 check that to Steve Atkins, a rookie. And he has a first down. Atkins, number 32 of Maryland. The number two pick this year. For a big man, Bart Starr said he runs very quietly. You can't hear him run. He has very light feet. David Gray tackled him, the right cornerback. And David Gray might, have not, might not have heard him run, but he felt him at that time when he made the tackle because he hit him with a good shot with the shoulder pads. Watch it now. Joe Federspiel jumps over a block. Watch here. Mm. That's on Federspiel. First down the Packers on the St. 49. The drop back. He's going to go deep, deep to Lofton. He's down there. Can't get it. Just over his head. Trying to hit the quick one to James Lofton, who can catch that home run ball. Clarence Chapman there. Lofton is a rookie. Was voted the NFC Offensive Rookie of the Year. I'm surprised that they're trying to lick Clarence Chapman because he's really a, a very good defensive back. However, maybe they feel because this is the first time he's played in a long time, they're trying to get him uh, some business on that left side, but I'm surprised that they don't throw on the other side to the young defensive back, David Gray, number 21. Thompson goes to the left. Lofton spreads right in the I formation. Atkins is a tailback. Draw play to Atkins. Flags are down, and Atkins is stopped cold. He squirmed back to the line of scrimmage, and that's all. This is the ninth meeting of these two clubs. The Packers have won six, the Saints two, and the Packers have won the last three. This is holding against the Packers. The Packers and Saints have never played in Green Bay at Lambeau Field. They only played here in Milwaukee. The last Saint win was in 1975. Last year, the Packers won 28-17. Galbraith had 14 Finch, catches. The number record. 71. That's on Mel Jackson, the right guard. This will set the Packers back to their own 41-yard line. They have a second down and 20. Reggie Mathis is into the game. Ralph McGill is in. This is to prevent defense now against the pass. With some quick fellows in that secondary. The Saints do. Whitehurst is hit and down. He's down inside of his 35-yard line. That's the second sack that the Saints have recorded. Don Reese that time made the play. Yeah, he was right in there, Henry. Yes. He's got good outside rushing speed, and they put him in on this special situation. And here you see him come into the outside, grab over the top, and make the tackle on Whitehurst. So the Packers are facing a third down and 27. They're trailing 12 nothing. We're approaching the two minute warning. Price goes to the sideline and Mike Fultz comes in number 72. They put three wide receivers Tullis Thompson and Lofton in and the two minute warning has been given to each bench. And Hank Stram, two minutes to go in the first half here in Milwaukee. The Packers ball their own 34. They have a third down and 27. And the Saints are out in front in this game, 12 to nothing. Whitehurst, they have the blitz on him and a big rush coming over there from Derlin Moore, the right tackle number 74. And that's the third sack recorded by the Saints. Watch Derlin Moore. Does a good job of slipping around the outside, frees from his man, and gets in and makes the tackle. A good play, a good rush by Derlin Moore, number 74. This is only a fourth down and 39 to go. Liberty. Confirmation, West Chandler is deep. 
Larry, Larry McKeeran that time was trying to block him and didn't do a good job on Derlin Moore. Here's the punt. Driving kick. Chandler, nifty runner. Back pedals to his 26. Trying to peel outside. They got him. They hammer him down on his 24-yard line. Great coverage by Eric Torkelson. The Packers last year tied for first in punt coverage and for second in kickoff coverage. They're proud of their special team. Beautiful kick by David Beverly. The Saints ball on their own 24-yard line. Time remaining, a minute 29 in the first half. I can't understand why Green Bay, they run well on first down, and they get in a good position, and they throw the ball a lot and get themselves in trouble. Let's see what uh, Manning does now. He's closing a minute and a half of the first half. He gives the ball to Mike Strawn. Strawn turns the corner, goes out of bounds. They stop the clock. There's a flag down. The flag dropped. He had a hit there by Mike Douglas. And also, uh, we had number 38, Estes Hooded, on the play. Let's see what happened here. Just a late hit after the whistle? Yes, it was a late hit by Douglas, number 53, after he was out of bounds. Take a here look he at comes. It, here he comes. Here's Dobler pulling on the play, number 66. Mike Strawn running to the outside. He makes a break to the outside. Watch this now. Weaver gets a piece of him. Another shot here. Defense. And watch this. Roughness. Watch this late hit right here. Out of bounds. 53. That First was Mike Douglas charged with a late hit. And that moves the Saints up the field to their own 45. Well, they, they pick up 21 yards in that play. New Orleans on their 45. They're leading 12 to nothing. The clock has stopped with a minute 22 remaining in the first half. You know, the, the Green Bay Packers are using a very predictable defense. They're 4-3 most of the time. As a result, there's no recognition. All you got to do is execute. Manning shuts him down. There's the back, wide there open. Is. That's Galbraith. And uh, he's to the 43-yard line. Gary Weaver trapped him. Tony Galbraith caught a lot of passes last year. He had 74 catches, second in the National Football League. He comes out of that backfield a lot. Flag is down. Quick one. Complete to the 31. Boy, Manning hot here in the first half. West Chandler caught another one, but this one may be wiped out. I don't know. They dropped the flag. We'll see what it's about. You know, Lenny Dawson, I thought, was the most one of the most accurate passers I've ever seen. Archie Manning is very much the same way. You give him time to set up and throw the ball, and uh, he just really shoots your eyes out. He's a fantastic quarterback. Defense. Defense offside 77. Decline the penalty. That's first down. The Saints have declined the offside penalty. They now have moved the ball to the back of 31-yard line, and the Saints are threatening again here with 55 seconds to go and a half. They had the ball just about uh, 30 seconds ago on their own 24-yard line. There are the penalties in the game. There we go. Redskins lead the Lions 17-3 in the second period. Pittsburgh 7, Houston nothing. Now it's 10 nothing Pittsburgh. First period. He's they going are to Chandler, and Chandler just skips out of bounds. West Chandler's out on the 18-yard line. Estes Hood laying deep on him. Chandler goes down, comes back for the ball. You know, actually, as you look at the whole pattern, he could throw the ball any place he wants to, really, because everybody's open. He goes back into the pocket nicely, and here you see Chandler go down and come back for the football. Estes Hood, number 38, was worried about a deep pattern, and he had plenty of room in front, made the catch, jumped out of bounds. It's another possession by the New Orleans Saints. Wes Chandler's going to make a lot of money the next few years doing that. He's going to wear out a lot of shoes, too. He has seven catches already for 65 yards. His goal is to make 80 catches this year. He'll do it the way he's going. That's Mike Strong to the 15, and he's down to the 13-yard line. For late tuners in, especially St. Fan, Chuck Muncy was injured in the first third. Has first some kind of a leg injury, and Strong has replaced him. And we have a St. timeout. They stopped the clock. They now have two timeouts left, and we have 44 seconds remaining in the first half. The Saints are out in front of this game, 12-0. Let's check uh, a 
Another score. The Cardinals trailing 14 to nothing. Came back on a one-yard run by Theodos Brown. And then a 30-yard fumble run back by Mark Arneson. And it's now Giants 14, Cardinals 14. 12.44 to go in the first half. Cincinnati and Buffalo. Buffalo leading in that game 10 to 7. Terry Miller scored. Two-yard run to put the Bills ahead with 5.24 to go in the half. And tomorrow night on CBS, start your evening of comedy with how Bugs Bunny won the West. And then a classic song becomes a delightful show on Puff the Magic Dragon. Mac and WKRP in Cincinnati follow. And then it's Lou Grant. A great night of television tomorrow on CBS. Sure, they're going to do everything they possibly can to get the ball in the end zone. Not that they don't always do that, but again, as I mentioned earlier, they have to be aware and concerned about the fact that Tony Galbraith is going to have to kick field goals, and he hasn't done that, I'm sure, since he left college. We used to work on him in that uh, category a couple of years ago, and he's got a very strong, good leg. But uh, he hasn't done too much of it, but he's done a super job here so far in the afternoon. Manning has hit 15 out of 16 passes. Chandler has caught seven. We're putting on quite a show here in the first half. Draw play. There goes Galbraith at the 10. He's horse collar there. As he reached the 10-yard line, Mike Douglas took him high. The linebacker and the Saints rush in and call timeout. another timeout. Now they have one left. You can see the clock. 37 seconds remaining. And remember, Hank, the Saints started this drive on their own 24. Green Bay is really lucky because they could be 21 24 down 24 to nothing now or 21 to nothing at least uh, except that they stopped them a couple of times and forced them to kick field goals but the New Orleans Saints have really dominated this game offensively and uh, that's the kind of a game you like because you don't have to worry about how the defense plays in because you've got the ball all afternoon talking about individual performances Galbraith has gained 65 yards so far and 11 carries in the first half. Muncie broke the all-time club record last week, and they have now changed it to 161 yards rushing. They added another three yards, I think. That's an all-time single-game rushing record for the Saints, and Muncie did it last week against Atlanta. And here's Galbraith up with a big game today. And the Packers, Hank, are going to have to go in there at halftime and try and do something to solve this uh, attack that has been mystifying for them. And here again, as I mentioned, here again, as I mentioned, uh, Kurt, Archie Manning does such a great job of recognizing defenses and taking advantage of the soft spots, and he's really like a surgeon out here this afternoon working on this defense of the Green Bay Packers. The Saints have the ball on the Packer 10-yard line with a third down. They got a lot of room over here on the right side on a slant pass or something. Let's see what they do. They're moving here. Well, they're going motion. outside. There goes Galbraith. He's at the 10. He's at the 5. And he has a first and goal to go. The clock is moving there. 30 seconds to play. And they're trying to hurry up and huddle up. They're down to 25, 24. First and goal to go. Saints ball on the back of three. First and goal. Manning yells those signals Bump and run. Up. Bump and run over and the top. It and it is incomplete. Chandler nearly made a miraculous reception with Johnny Gray and Chandler tangled up going up for the ball and it nearly deflected down into Chandler's hand but it stopped the clock. It was a double bump and run and Chandler leaped so well Archie threw it over the top and he really had it coming down and then lost it. Well we now have 13 seconds remaining. It's on the three yard line of the Packers. Second down goal to go for the Saints. The Saints ahead 12-0 had the ball at least 75% of the time in this game. They got the same situation again this time. There it is. Manning looking. Lighting. Galbraith has it. Galbraith is hit and is inbound. His forward motion stopped at the yard and a half line. They, they kept waving the clock on. Now they're bringing timeout. it over to line it up. And now a timeout That's call the in the Saints. Timeout. That's their last timeout of the half. So we'll have one more play in the game. And they're bringing on four or five new men for the Saints. And maybe Galbraith's going to try another field goal. I'm sure that's what's going to happen. He's going to attempt another field goal from uh, two yards away. A 
again for late tuners in. Russell Erksleben, a number one draft pick, the prize rookie from Texas, who many consider the greatest kicker in the history of college football. He kicked him over 60 yard field goals in college. Had a crucial kick closing seconds in regulation against Atlanta last week. Thursday in practice pulled a muscle in his kicking leg. He warmed up today. The first attempt had hurt him, so they held him out of the game. Chandler is going to do the punting, the wide receiver, and Galbraith, the running back, has been doing the place kick. The best way to solve this problem is not to have to punt. They haven't had to punt so far in this football game, and the way they're going, they might not have to punt throughout the contest, Kurt. Well, they've just been galloping up, up and down this field. This will be a 19-yard attempt for Tony Galbraith. Burns will hold, and this kick is up, and Galbraith misses it. It's off to the left. The Saints march from the 24 to the Packer 3. They're stalled on fourth down, and they miss the last gas field goal, and the club, see, here it is, watch it. To the left. You know, the, the Green Bay Packers are very lucky to, to win at halftime. We're only 12 points behind the way the New Orleans Saints have dominated this game. Really, New Orleans should have at least 24 points, possibly 30, 31 points, but... Uh, they had to settle for several field goals. This one, of course, being missed. Galbraith hit a field goal first period. Another field goal by Galbraith. A child, a touchdown pass. So the end of half, back is the deep man on the kickoff return for the Saints, who, if you join us and didn't see the first half, will be in the white. And in the dark or green jerseys will be the Packers. And I'm sure Green Bay will try to get some kind of a running game established. They did a pretty good job of that in the first half. But every time they got something going, they went to the forward pass and got themselves in trouble. Let's see how they try to operate in the second half if they get the ball a little later in this quarter. And I, I look over to the uh, sideline. I see Chuck Muncie's in street clothes, so we know that he won't be back. He was injured in the first period. And they're trying an onside kick, and the Packers may have it. They have it. They do. The Packers gamble. Come out, trying to stir something up. They put on the onside kick and recover it. And that shakes the crowd up. It's a sullen crowd has been frustrated here throughout the first half with no offense from the Packers. And so I think Bart Starr and his staff got together. Let's do anything to shake this club up. That was a very good play, and the Henry Monroe, number 43, recovered the onside kick. But it might give them a little spark, something they didn't have in the first half. Green Bay's ball first down in their 49-yard line. Costas to the left, Lofton spread right. Quarterback is still wider. Looks like they might run right. They do. That is Steve Atkins, the rookie. Atkins gets nothing. In fact, he may have lost a half yard or a yard. That play was pinned in by Joe Campbell, who went from right to left covering. And Jim Merlo, the left linebacker. You know, he made a big gain on that same play going left earlier in the game. Uh, they tried the same play right. Atkins, that is. That time, they were, it was played extremely well, and uh, they lose yardage on the play. Second down, 11 to go. Packers in their 48. Just started the second half. Whitehurst in a deep retreat. Shoots it wide open there. It's Thompson, first down Green Bay. And he spun down on the 32-yard line of the Saints. And now the Packer fans come alive. I mentioned earlier in the game, I was surprised that they didn't go to David, David Gray. Uh, they were working on Clarence Chapman. Now they come back and work on David Gray, number 21. The receiver is wide open. Runs a curl-in pattern inside. He's wide open. And uh, first down for the Green Bay Packers. That was Thompson, number 89, making the catch. Packers ball on the Saints 32-yard line. Orleans in the lead, 12-0. The pitch is to Atkins, the rookie. Cuts back to the 20. Goes inside the 20 and nice his way inside the 30 and nice his way to the 26. That's Muncy. Back, he's not in street clothes. We had information he was in street clothes, but that's him, number 42, sitting on the bench. I don't think it, it doesn't look like he's got shoulder pads on. He might have, but he looks like he's definitely, definitely out of the ball game. Atkins gained six. It's second down four for the Green Bay Packers. Who have really not had a serious scoring threat in this game and are trying to grab their first touchdown of the season. There's 
a big hole open, and that's a first down inside the 20-yard line. Barty Smith carried the ball, number 33, and the Packers now have the ball on the St. 19. The hit was made by the free safety, Tom Myers, and the strong safety, Don Swartz. Greg Cook that time, and Mel Jackson, Larry McCarron all did a good job of blocking at the point of attack. They got Joe Fetishfield going with the flow of the play and cut behind him, and he made a nice gain on the play. This is the Packers' deepest penetration of the game. And it comes in the first three minutes for the third period. Packers ball on the Saint 18. Atkins hit for a loss that time. That was the option play. He took the ball out of the belly of the up back of the fullback and then gave it to the tailback, Atkins, and he's hit for a loss. Atkins really was premature. He should have run inside of Grooms. He didn't. He tried to go outside from the I formation. He lowest Grooms, number 78, played it perfectly and uh, stopped the play for a loss of two yards on the play. They're second and 12. James Lofton spreads right. Andre Thompson to the left. Whitehurst going to put it up. He has the protection. There's Thompson inside the 10. Should be a first down for Green Bay. A slant pattern right into the middle. And Whitehurst on target. That time they threw in front of Gray again, number 21. They definitely changed their uh, thinking, I'm sure, because they didn't succeed in doing much business on Clarence Chapman, who was very, a very fine corner man. David Gray, number 21, is a youngster over there, and they're going to test him, and they just did in the last two plays. Here we see it again. Whitehurst, plenty of time to throw the ball, delivers it right on the money. David Gray, number 21, making the tackle. This is third down and a foot to go. They spotted him back about a half yard. Thompson is out. Leotis Harris, a guard, has gone in. They're trying to get some blocking power. And now the Saints or the uh, Packers call a time. They went up to the line of scrimmage undecided and wisely took that time out. Well, what happened was that I think Atkins, the young back, was in the wrong position, in the wrong formation. He recognized it and called timeout. County and Hank Scram here, County Stadium, Milwaukee. The Packers, with their first scoring threat of the game, had the ball on the nine-yard line of the Saints, third down and a half yard to go. See if they run to the left again. They did the last time on a short yardage situation. See if they do it again this time. Here they come. There's a dive over the middle, and they have it that time. That's Barty Smith, number 33. It should be first and goal to go for the Packers. Hank Scram was in Foxborough, New England, uh, last Monday night on CBS Radio doing the Patriot-Pittsburgh uh, game, overtime, Pittsburgh won. Steve Grogan was being knocked all over the papers all week. He couldn't pass. All he's done today is throw four touchdown passes for the Patriots as they lead the Jets 35-3 to in the third period. Coaches and quarterbacks on a roller coaster ride every week. That's okay. Right. 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 You know you how know, that is. You know about that better than anyone. Green yeah. Bay's ball on the same seven, first and goal. Andre Thompson back in. Whitehurst with a rush on him. Heaves it out and is incomplete. Nearly intercepted with a flag down. Whitehurst was decked by Don Reese, number 60, but a flag was thrown back in the end zone. What a rush Reese had on him. They put Reese in for pass rushing situations. I can't, uh, it looks like it was offensive pass interference that time. Let's see what they call, but it appears that way. It is, I think. It's hard to understand why they would use that kind of a, a play uh, when they succeeded in doing a good job getting the ball downfield and then try a, that kind of a pass. Look at Reese. Slot. They let him just come in there unopposed. Pass interference offense number 89. That is called on Andre Thompson 89. You know, the defender has some rights in this game, too. And Thompson interfered with the fellow defending him. So that penalty sets the ball back to the Packers 17. And they have a first and 17 to go for a touchdown. And the New Orleans Saints are out in front 12 to nothing. New Orleans could have been out in front 20 or 30 points in the first half. The yard of Jay rolled out. Whitehurst this time's pass. It's complete inside the five. Fighting for that goal line is Thompson. Oh, he's a scrapper, Andre Thompson. There again, they throw in front of Gray. Just a simple, a simple down and in pattern. And Whitehurst really put it right on the money. A beautiful play. 
They had uh, plenty of time to throw the ball that time. Watch the delivery. Gerlin Moore comes in there, but it's a little bit too late. There's the ball a little bit behind, too. A beautiful catch. Look at this, Hank. Yep. Great effort. Trying desperately to get into the end zone. And they have possession right about a half yard away from the goal line. All right, they put in Leotis Harris for blocking power, a second-year player. They take out Thompson. Second down, a foot to go for a Packer touchdown. It'll put him right back in there. And it is a touchdown by Barney Smith. And the Packers have scored their first touchdown of 1979. And they're back in this ball game. Well, that was a daring play on the opening kickoff, the onside kick. They recovered it. They caught the New Orleans Saints unaware, and uh, they recovered the football that time and, and went right down the field on a beautiful drive. Henry Monroe recovering the fumble. They took the ball down the field in good shape, just scored their touchdown, and now they line up for the extra point. 51-yard drive, but the onside kick, the surprise kick on the opening kickoff of the second half, turn it around for the backer. I think they just figure we've got to do something. We haven't done anything for a game and a half in the way of offense. Chester Marshall for the point. Kick is good. Well, the Packers have the first score of the second half. And uh, what was rather a, a one-sided game now has turned into a real contest. We'll be back here in Milwaukee with a score New Orleans 12, Green Bay 7. Rich Motti is going to receive the kickoff. Normally it would be West Chandler, but he is supposed to punt it, although the Saints... Haven't done any punting the way they've been marching up and down the field. Marco's going Boy, what a short, bad kick. On the 20-yard line, goes to uh, one of the uh, linemen there of the Saints. Jim Kovach. Jim Kovach, number 52, our linebacker. And he's brought down by Johnny Thompson to tie it in. Well, the Saints take over. And they have the ball on their own 29-yard line with a first down. The uh, Redskins are leading the Lions 24-3 in the third period. CBS Sports Spectacular, Howard Davis versus Termite Watkins next Saturday at 4.30 Eastern Dime. Highlights of the Italian Grand Prix and the U.S. Amateur Roller Skating Championship Part 1. Sports Spectacular. Archie Manning running his team out of the I formation. Here's the ball to Tony Galbra. He's submarine in the 31-yard line of the Saints. I can't understand. They, they keep running to the strong side of that triple stack defense, and they really haven't succeeded in making much yardage. They evidently feel they can do something, but really they are running into the strength of the defense. 280, there's the, the Bears ahead of the Vikings, 19 to 7 in the third period. 287 yards in the first half for New Orleans, and now they're ahead by only five points, though. Now they're coming up. The cornerbacks are playing up tighter for Green Bay. The pitch is out to Galbraith. He comes up to the 30. Flag is down. It goes down on the 34-yard line of the Saints. He's nailed by Mike Hunt, the middle linebacker. Looks like it might be holding on the part of the Saints. Let's see what they call. The Saints made nearly five times as much yardage as the Packers in the first half and right now are fighting for their lives. It's not important how much yardage you make. The important thing is that you put points on the scoreboard. They really should have had 28 or 29 points in that first half. They came out with 12, and that's always dangerous. Here's a penalty against uh, the Saints. Let's catch it. Holding, offense, number 71. That holding is on uh, J.T. Taylor, the left tackle. Now the ball goes back to the 22-yard line of the Saints. They have a second down, 17. Baltimore leading Tampa Bay, 17 nothing first third. Archie Manning flares it out, incomplete pass. The Dabra, the crowd now senses a change of tempo, a change of momentum here in the game. The home crowd for the Packers. Makes all the difference in the world. That time they tried to throw a screen out to the left flat to uh, Tony Galbraith. It was a little bit far out in front. He made a one-handed stab for the ball. Couldn't catch it. Fell incomplete. But they've got to get back to doing what they did so well in the first half. Keep their poise and do uh, what they know they could do because they did it so well in the first half. Manning is 16 out of 19. He missed only one pass in the first half. Just a couple of here now. 
big drop back. Out it goes. There's Ike Harris open for a first down. Harris's forward motion stopped on the 41-yard line of the Saints. Packers and that's five third down out of seven attempt third down conversions for the Saints. It looked like the uh, Green Bay Packers were off sides on the play. At least that's what I think happened. Let's see what they call. So it'll be a first down for the Saints. Defense was offside. They're going to climb the penalty. That's a first down. It'll be New Orleans ball on their own 41. And they had a third and 17. If they had failed on that pass, they would have had to punt. And the Packers would have had the ball if everything went as regular in good field position. But again, that didn't happen. He came up with a big third down play, as you know, Kurt, and that's the difference to keep that drive alive. And now they've got some working room, and they ought to start working back in those corners and do the things that they did so well in that first half. 12 to 7, the Saints are ahead. The pitch out is to Mike Strong. Strong is hit and ridden out of bounds. He goes out of bounds along uh, the far sideline where Mike McCoy chased him out. Packers hanker getting a little more penetration on the line of scrimmage. Yeah, and they're reacting. They're playing with a lot more anima animation, a lot more enthusiasm, looks like, here as they put the ball in the belly of the fullback and throw it out to Mike Strong. It's a little bit behind him. He's got the ball in the wrong arm. Running to the, Now he changes it and was knocked out of bounds by Mike Douglas, number 53, who is an excellent young linebacker. It is second down, nine to go for New Orleans. On their 41 and a half. They're going against the wind in the third period. It's about a 15 mile an hour breeze. Now they're in an odd spacing that time. And Kim Jones. Kim Jones slipped into that lineup. And uh, the fourth year player from Colorado State's hit by Gary Weaver and Charles Johnson. Johnson's a rookie, a third round pick for the Packers of Maryland. And they expect to see him come on and maybe move in there and get a starting job before this season's over yeah. in the defensive line. Yeah, they like him very much. And that time, the Green Bay Packers changed from their 4-3 alignment to an odd spacing and did a pretty good job of responding to what they saw. Now they're at 4-3 again. Yes, and this is another third down long, 39. Manning hit, flags are down. And there's the first sack of the game for the Packers. Mike Butler and Carl Barzalaskis have been there. Butler led the way to left end 77. Barzalaskis with the left tackle 75. Flags were being dropped as the play was running. It's holding against the Saints. And I imagine the Packers will decline. It'll bring up fourth down. They better decline it. They better, never, better not give the Saints an opportunity to get the ball again because they're very dangerous. They're going to have to punt the ball in this situation. Offensive holding number 79. Decline a penalty. That's fourth down. Offensive holding on Wes Chandler. And here's the first punt of the game coming up for New Orleans. This could be a very exciting play, trying to figure out what Chandler's going to do with his first kicking opp opportunity as a professional player. And he didn't do it in college, I don't think, either. As Coach Nolan said, he's been playing around in practice, and he's been kicking him about 60 yards. So uh, they got the idea in the back of their heads if anything happened to Erks Laban, they'd use Chandler as a punter. Here's his first pro kick. High end over end, a fair catch of short. Fair catch called for by Odoms on the 37-yard line of Green Bay, where the Packers will put the ball in play. And this game has turned around. The score now, New Orleans 12 and Green Bay 7. Bart Starr in a checker jacket, his year as head coach. What a postseason player he was. He hit over 60% of his passes in championship postseason play. And uh, one of his big games was against Hank Stram's Kansas City Chiefs in Super Bowl I. Please don't remind me, Kurt. <laughs> Over the 40 to the 41, I, I remember doing that game, the late Paul Christman and myself. Uh, two networks did the game. I won't mention the other one, but CBS was one of them. It was a battle of networks and a battle of the interest, curiosity about the AFL, the NFL. But I remember that first... Reception by Max McGee behind the hip coming over the middle. A great catch. And the worst thing about it was he made it look easy. Yeah. Second down, six for the Packers. They have just scored a touchdown. They have the ball back again. Looks like a different ball club here in the second half. Blitz. Blitz. Blitz is on him. Whitehurst throws the ball. And it is ruled an incomplete pass. The Saints are arguing that should be intentionally grounding. Because they think uh, intentionally grounding rule is when you unload the ball to prevent taking a loss. Well, really, uh, 
Marty Smith was in the area where he threw the football, and it'll be interesting to see what they call on the play. I don't think it was intentional grounding because Marty Smith was in the area. Well, it used to be that. I think that, that old area is gone, though. And uh, now it's just strictly... Well, this is strictly a judgment call on the part of the official. Call. Attack number 21. That's first down. But what happens is that affects his judgment when he sees a player in the area. I'm sure that's, that's a part of his reasoning. Number 21, interference call on David Gray, and the Packers have a first down on their own 46. Here's a deep one. Lofton down there. He's got it. Out of bounds. They hit him on the two. James Lofton, the speedster from Stanford, the rookie of the year in the NFC last year in offense. Well, he threw it up there in good shape, right up on top of Clarence Chapman. Clarence, I think, took a look into the backfield. See, that's where he got himself in trouble. He got behind him, and the rest is history. It's Green Bay on about the three-yard line. Here we go again. Whitehurst had plenty of time to throw the football, steps up into the pocket nicely, and delivers the ball downfield. But the big mistake Clemens made was that he looked into the backfield. By the time he turned around, he was lost and uh, didn't have a chance to make a play on the ball. First down and two yards for a touchdown. The play covered 52 yards. Backers can go ahead if they score. The Roll out. Whitehurst keeps going. He's at the five. He's in. On the bootleg, Whitehurst scores. He looks like he might have got hurt on the play. Let's see. He's shaken up, but he's across that goal line, and the Packers have gone ahead as they've scored two touchdowns here in the third period after going a game and a half without a score. I think he's all right. He bounced back in good shape. He, got a, he took a good shot. He delivered a blow with the shoulder pads. You have to give him a lot of credit. Had he not dropped the shoulder, he never would have had the opportunity to go in for the touchdown. Watch it again. Watch him. Watch him lower the shoulder coming around the outside. Like he wants to pass, didn't he? Yes, watch this now. And Gray comes up, watch it. He lowers the shoulder and knocks Gray right out of bounds. A beautiful shot by Whitehurst, the quarterback. Eddie Burns will hold. They'll take a quick look at Whitehurst. He's had some shoulder problems. His left shoulder has, has been a nagging injury to him. He had uh, a repair job done on him. Marco for the point. The kick is up. And Marco's kick is good. And the Packers are rallied with 14 points in the third quarter to lead the Saints. The game looked like it might be a rump for the Saints at the end of the half. But now we've got a ball game here, 14 to 12, Green Bay. We have to play with abandon. We didn't do it against the Bears. They didn't do it in the first half here. And finally, the one play that has turned this game around, the opening kickoff of the second half, a daring onside kick recovered by Green Bay. And now from that onside kick, they've taken the lead, 14 to 12. So the strategy was reckless as they came out, and the team is playing with that kind of a record. They came out with the idea of making something happen. They did on the onside kick. And now it's a good football game. All right, it's short. Feel it on the 20-yard line, up to the 30. We've had very short kickoffs in this game. Up to the 35-yard line of Jack Holmes, number 45 of Texas Southern. But remember, the Saints can strike from any place in the field. So we should have a, a roaring finish to this one next Sunday. First game, regional. The Lions and the Jets. Philadelphia's at New Orleans. Tampa Bay against uh, Green Bay and San Francisco versus Los Angeles. The second game, Chicago, Dallas, the 4 o'clock game. New Orleans has to be aggressive on offense. They've got to go after him just like they did in the first half to move the football and get back in his football game. Archie Manning. There he goes. Roll out. Rolling out. Looking. He's hit. And he is decked. And he throws the ball to his tight end, Giles, for a loss. No wonder he didn't get that one intercepted. Mike Douglas hit him. That ball was a, was a floating duck just hanging up there behind the line of scrimmage for somebody to grab off. There was a play action screen to the tight end. The tight end went down and blocked. Watch him. And then he comes back to the other side. Archie's going to throw the ball back. He didn't have a chance with a pursuit like it was. Henry Childs made the reception, and uh, they lose some yardage on the play. Buffalo leads the Bengals 17-10 in the third period. 
Bengals may be off to another staggering start like they did last year. Second down, 13 for New Orleans. I don't know why he doesn't just throw the ball in front of those defensive backs. There he did to Wes Chandler. That's his eighth catch, and he's out of bounds. He's out of bounds on his 37-yard line. And uh, Chandler did that seven times in the first half. But he ought to do that on first down because he still has all the room in the world on the outside. Sometimes if you're not careful, you're successful doing something, and you think, well, because we've been so successful, we'll do something else instead of doing it until they stop it. He can do that any time he wants to on first down especially. They have a third down and eight. Weaver and Hunt go out. The middle is wide open. The middle is wide open. There it is. Intercepted. And it's intercepted at the 45 for Green Bay. That's intercepted by Mike Douglas, who's playing a tremendous game here today, number 53. And that was quite a catch. He caught it just before it hit the turf. The Packers have the ball, the first turnover for the Saints. The middle was wide open. The safety man was very deep. Look at all the room in the middle area. Marshy gets a little pressure, threw the ball behind Tony Galbraith, and Mike Douglas really did a fantastic job of intercepting that ball. But Green Bay has possession again. First interception that Archie Manning has thrown this year. He had the lowest interception rate last year in the National Football League. Whitehurst has gone four for four in his first half, second half, for 100 yards. His pitch, here comes an option. The flag is down. There's a deep one to Lofton, nearly intercepted. But a flag was dropped at the line of scrimmage. That was thrown by Steve Atkins, number 32. And uh, Atkins has a pretty good arm for a halfback. Yes, but he threw it right into the coverage. He had no chance to, to make that reception that time or that completion. That's offside, Henry, against... New Orleans, everything going Green Bay way now in the third period. Just got word that their um, fine receiver, Andre Outside Thompson. defense, number 74. Thompson for Green Bay is out for the rest of the afternoon with a bad leg. And he made some good catches here in this quarter. Watch Atkins here on the uh, halfback option. He throws this right into coverage. Two of them there, and on the inside, nearly had it picked off. Really should have been intercepted. Looks like they might go right. First and five. Atkins has the ball, trying to get outside to the 40, 35, 30. First down, and the rookie carries the ball to the 27. Who knows? Today they may find a first-string running back. They lost Iver, the uh, number one draft pick for the rest of the year, who's a great running back at Georgia Tech. Watch Atkins go to the outside. It's a it's kind of a change of pace pace sweep, but look at the way he outruns everybody to the outside. Makes a good route, good move inside and makes a big gain on the play. Green Bay on the New Orleans 27. New Orleans dominated the first half, and now the Packers have taken over the third period. They're ahead 14 to 12. First down, 27 yard line of the Saints. Uh, right ahead play over the 25. Derlin Moore, the right tackle, hits Steve Atkins. Atkins was the number two pick. The uh, Packers went after speed in their backfield for the running positions. They had uh, Ivory's number one and Atkins number two, and Atkins set six Maryland records. Yeah, that was a trap play that time with a left guard, 57, Darrell Goforth, trapping on the play, and Derlin Moore made a nice recovery and made the tackle on the play, number 74. Washington, the Redskins, 24-3 over the... Lyon, triple with injuries, without a quarterback. Daniels, second down, seven. Marty Smith on a draw. He's to the 21-yard line of New Orleans. That'll bring up a third down and four. Time remaining in the third period is 325. 12 nothing at halftime, New Orleans. They marched all over the field. They missed uh, an extra point and two field goals. Erksleben, their kicker. Missing this game with a full leg muscle. And then the Packers on an onside kick, recovering it to open the second half, and they've taken off ever since. Scoring two touchdowns. See if they try to do something on Gray over here in this right corner. Right down the middle for a first down. Inside the five with a three-yard line. Steve Acton coming out of the backfield. Wide open to rookie of Maryland. And we have a flag drop back at the line of scrimmage. Don Schwartz, the strong safety, finally stopped the play. Defense offside. 
The defense oh, was on a big down. play. Big break for the Packers. They now have a first and goal to go. Well, the back was wide open. He licked a linebacker that time. It looked like he licked Pat Hughes, and that's hard to do. Evidently, it was an option play where he either could go inside or outside. Hughes was outside. Atkins went inside, was wide open. He delivered the ball right on the money, and here we go in scoring position again for the Green Bay Packers. Leotis Harris is in for blocking power. First and goal for the Packers. They've already scored two touchdowns in the third third. And the New Orleans defense now is getting fourth the way it was against Atlanta. Looks like they might go right outside. No, they're going left. And there's a hit. Great charge there. Tommy Myers made a great hit. Right. Myers came up from that safety position to stop that play. They're going to spot the ball on a four-yard line of New Orleans. It's a loss of a yard. Second down, four to go for a Green Bay touchdown. Here you see Tommy Myers break into the seam, and Riddy makes a great hit. Yeah. The, the running advantage that time, Kurt, was Riddy to the right. They had a wing back over there. I thought they would run to the right. That was the weak spot, but they went to the string. Second down, four to go for a Packer touchdown. Atkins. Takes a yard. He's to the three-yard line of New Orleans. Brings up a third and three for Green Bay for a touchdown. No, that was a trap play and a well played by Derlin Moore again, number 74. And also Joe Fettersfield, number 58. Tampa Bay at Baltimore. Two-yard run by Ricky Bell. The point was blocked. It's Baltimore 17, Tampa Bay six in the second period. Ten and a half to go. Bart Starr. Seen his team explode finally on offense. Third and three for a touchdown. Lofton in motion. Atkins. Here they go, right. Atkins is over for the score. They had it out there. Yeah, they, was, they had that on the two pre preceding plays and went the other way. They finally came back to it, and he was wide open around the outside. Hey, uh, the Packers may have found themselves a running back in this rookie. They sure have. He's an outstanding looking back. Alex Price, 75, is trying to get him and couldn't uh, overtake him, and he goes in for the touchdown. A great looking play by the Green Bay Packers. Three touchdowns for the Packers after being stopped cold, almost listless in offense in the first half. And Atkins has scored, and he has been a spark plug here in this third quarter. That's his first professional touchdown. He scored many at the University of Maryland. Marco for the point. Only kicker left that was in the league in 1972. And it's up, and the kick hits the upright. It's no good. Marco was decked on that charge. There it is. David Gray, the right cornerback, gave him a little massage that time with the elbow. An official didn't see it. That drive of the Packers, 44 yards and seven plays. They have a 20 to 12 lead. Hank, what, well, here it watch is. Watch it again. again. Watch David Gray give him a shot right in the smush. Now he hits him low. It was, he hits him right in the shoulder pads. The smush is a chest. <laughs> and uh, trans translation from uh, <laughs> Hank Stram. Markle's all right. He's up. They had a flag down, I believe. I think a flag was thrown on this play. Marco's kick hit the, uh, the right upright. They're going to bring this back. I think the penalty is going against the Saints. Oh, he, they probably they did see it then. Yeah, they gave him, they're going to give him another shot, evidently. Now they're conferring. Let's get it. tap the worst thing about that was if you know if you're gonna hit somebody you better give them a good shot that wasn't a good, very good shot uh, Kurt. all right let's listen number 21 defense run into the kicker David Gray for running into the kicker Fishers uh, penalties right. really running into the kicker and roughing the kicker Fishers were right on top of that play well Marco gets another chance for the extra point everything's gone Green Bay's way here in the third period on the penalty kick is up and he has that one now uh, the 21 point third quarter for the Packers and their lead now is nine 
Green Bay 21, New Orleans 12. Tonight on CBS, enjoy another edition of 60 Minutes. Then Archie and Edith Bunker keep the comedy going on All in the Family. And then join Bonnie Franklin one day at a time. You'll see why you're looking at CBS. You're looking good. Let's get some scores here. Grogan, the guy that can't pass, that just hit his fifth touchdown pass <laughs> of the game. 28-yarder to Harold Jackson, who has caught three long ones in the game, and it is now New England 42, the Jets three. Washington and uh, Detroit, the Lions have scored. Bo Robinson, 22-yard uh, run. It is now 24 to 10, the Redskins in the fourth period. And here's a kickoff. We got a long ways to go in this one. A minute and a half to go in the third period. And this game's a long way from being over, Kurt. It is. A lot of fireworks left. Back is number 84, Rich Motti, the inspirational leader of the special teams for the Saints. I want to talk to Hank about the Green Bay defense in a minute. What's happened? Why can't New Orleans move it here in this half the way they did in the first half? Motti backpedals, doubles the ball, half the comes out. He's to the 5, to the 10. He gets out to the 15, over the 20, and out to the 23-24 yard line where Jim Gano takes him down from Tulane right out of New Orleans. Probably was a Saint fan when he was in college. No question about that, and they like him very much here, and he's doing a good job for the Green Bay Pack. All right, Henry, what's Green Bay done differently on defense to stop the Saints' offensive spark? All they're doing really right now, they're, they're controlling the line of scrimmage much better than they did in the first half. The first half they were catching. Now they're getting penetration, reacting, playing with a lot of animation, a lot of enthusiasm, and uh, the New Orleans team just has to stay with what they know they can do and execute. They just haven't. They've been kind of listless so far. They look like they were a little stunned with the onside kick, and they kind of haven't recovered uh, from that early drive. They have to get... They have to do something right here. No doubt about it. That onside kick to open the second half has been the play of the game. The Saints fall on their 24 with a first down. Manning goes to work. Tight end. Tight end is open. There he is. Childs has it. Good call, Hank. It's on the 44-yard line. Childs. Estes Hood, the cornerback. Mike Hunt, the middle linebacker. Pinched him there, but too late. That's all he has to do. They've got good protection that time. They can throw the ball any way they want to. Watch Henry Charles. Fakes inside, breaks outside, is wide open. Archie puts it right on the numbers, and it's a first and 10 for the New Orleans team. One thing they have to concern themselves with, however, is the, their place kick, their field goal situation. That could be the deciding factor in this football game. 45 seconds remaining in the third period. Saints ball on their 44 with a first down. You ought to come right back and throw on first down to one of these outside receivers. Here he is. Going to Chandler. Oh, Chandler had not quite turned. And the ball was thrown the other way to him. He was trying to peel back to his left, and the ball was thrown to the opposite direction. Second down, 10. But he shouldn't stop doing that because anytime he does it, the guy's wide open. He just ought to stay with it, especially on first down. You get a good chunk. Chandler's and caught eight passes today, seven in the first half, mostly of that variety, those little sideline outs in front of the lagging back. Now the Lions have come back to make it 24-17 in the fourth period. Watch it. Galbraith is wide open in the left oh, flat. He is. There he is at the 50s, at the 45, and he's down at the 40-yard line. A first down for the Saints. Mike McCoy hitting there, the right cornerback. The big thing here, the Saints must. There's a flag down on the play, it looks like. And it looks like it's against the Saints. Looks like it might be a holding penalty. It's a tough break for the New Orleans Saints. But the big thing with New Orleans, they move the ball up and down the field, but they haven't made touchdowns. That's what they have to do. They have to take advantage of their scoring opportunities. Here we go. Offense number 65. That holding is on number 65, Robert Woods, the right tackle. That spots the ball back to the 34. They have a second down and 20. The score is 21 to 12. Green Bay, 24 seconds in the third period. Nine penalties for the Saints. That's three for the Packers. Let's look for the back. Let's look for the tight end or one of the backs this time. Archie throws. There's, there's a tight end. He's open again, right down the middle, and he stopped very close to the first down in Green Bay territory. Green Bay 47. Johnny Gray, the free safety, belted him there. 
But Childs, the tight end, is getting open. And that's... Here he is again. He's got to be open with the way the coverage was, uh, Kurt. He throws the ball right down the middle, and Archie Reed's defense is so well. Look at the middle, wide open. The safety man is so deep that there's no chance in the world for him to make any kind of a play on that kind of a pattern. Johnny Gray that time was a free safety. It was way deep. They're going to measure with two seconds to go in the third quarter. Now they'll stretch that chain out. Looks like they made the first down, Kurt. Stretch it out, boys. I don't think so. No, they didn't. By an inch, it looks like. There he is, an inch to go. It is on the 46-yard line of Green Bay. A holding penalty set the Saints back, but Manning recovers by hitting his tight end down the middle. And that's the gun. The end of the third quarter with a score. The Green Bay Packers 21, the New Orleans Saints 12. We now pause for a word from your local station. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Kurt Gowdy and Hank Stram were into the fourth period in County Stadium, Milwaukee. New Orleans has the ball in the Green Bay 46 with a score 21 12. A big third quarter for Green Bay. They scored three times. I wouldn't be a bit surprised to see Archie throw a play action pass here. Let's see what he does. Third down and an inch to go. Gives it to Galbraith. Running wide. Jordan, he better get over there. Dangerous call on a wide, a lateral play. When you have that short yard, he's trying to make the first down. The only thing about Galbraith and that kind of a play, he runs so well with his eyes, knows where he is all the time, saw a little seam on the inside that they try to stretch the play out, took advantage of the seam and got the first down. But he's that kind of a runner. He's uh, very alert, very quick-footed, and uh, is always aware of where there might be a seam. Pittsburgh leading Houston 24 nothing in the third. Many thought Houston might have set him. New England had a chance to beat Pittsburgh last Monday. Let's you got to throw away. the ball right here. All right, here's uh, Manning slipping, but coming up. Throws on the run. Short, Ike Harris, he was off balance. He slipped, tried to reset, and threw, I think, the only bad pass he's thrown in the game. Yeah, that's right. He threw that far on the way and didn't have a chance to put anything on it. For that reason, it fell incomplete. But the short stuff is still there, and Archie just has to take his time. He's got a lot of time, just move the ball down the field, and he's got to get touchdowns, however, instead of being in a position where he has to kick field goals. He's had leg injuries. He had tendonitis in his shoulder, two operations on it. Everything has happened to him. A lot of players would have given up, but he did. He's had two really great years the last two years, and he's off to a good start again. Seven and Manning now is getting for A lot of room outside there he again. Is. He's there. Oh, he's lost the ball. Chandler lost it over there. Well, you don't see that happen very much. Could hit him. Could really belt it West Chandler. Chandler comes off the ball and drives the defensive back deep. Estes Hood. Watch him. And then breaks to the outside. The ball is right there. He has to leap for the ball. He took his eye off the ball, evidently. He tried to catch it with his body in a slip down. Tom Owen is in now, replacing Steve Brogan, who can't pass after five touchdowns, passes. And he, Owen hit one, and 49 to three, New England over the Jets. Let's, see the, the let's see the tight end or the backs. The middle is wide open again. One of the backs or the tight end should be wide open. Archie Manning, dropping back, running out of there. Looking, looking at the 40, 35, 30, first down. Archie Manning gets it on his own that time, and he ran into Dave Simmons. Reserve linebacker who was in there in the prevent defense to guard against the pass. Watch this. Now the middle is wide open. Dobler really made a nice block. Watch. Archie sees the seam, takes a whiff of the middle, he sees it wide open very decisively, makes the move upfield and does a good job of protecting the football, makes the first down. Saints on the Green Bay 29. Saints had a two touchdown lead over Atlanta, let him get away. They led 12 0 here at halftime over Green Bay. Had him stop cold, and now Green Bay's in the lead by nine. There is a quick screen again. Chandler, Chandler. Chandler out of bounds on the 25. Put it on the 24-yard line of Green Bay. It'll be second down, six. Second and six. Score, 21-12, Green Bay, 13-18 to play. 
Chandler to the left. Marty's the flanker on the right yeah, side. Yeah, got Rich Marty out there now, 84. Draw play. Oh, and that's Strong. Strong's out to the 20. He's inside the 15. He's to the 13-yard line. Robert Barber stopped him there on the 13-yard line, and it'll be another first down for the New Orleans Saints. Mike Strong did a nice job of uh, seeing daylight on the outside, started up the middle, broke to the outside, and made a nice gain. Good running on the part of Mike Strong. Watch it again. A simple draw play. Emmanuel Zanders, look at Z-Man, make a nice block in the middle, number 79. Permitted to Strong to get outside, lowers his shoulders, lowers his head, and gets as much out of the play as he possibly could and fell forward, which is so important. First down. Saints on the Green Bay 14. Slowly moving it. Up the goes. Outside there it again. is. And that pass complete to Motti. He's at the 10 yard line. They put him down on the 11. A quick out pass to the far sideline where Esther Good was there. Let's see, they spotted on the 11, just a three yard gain at second down and seven. Very soon, he's going to be able to fake that play to the outside and have the receiver go up the field for a big play because they're starting to play a little more more tight than they were early in the game. I gave you that New England score. Five touchdown passes for Grogan, one for Tom Owen, 49 to 3. Motti. Good, good time for another draw play right here. Right out. Kurt. Chandler and Harris are the receivers. There it is. There it is. The draw play to Strong. Strong's to the 10. He goes to the 5 and to the 4. And he's very close to a first and goal. Barzalaskas finally hauled him down, and the clock shows 11.37 to go. Here it is, another good draw play. Mike Strawn getting the most out of the play as he possibly could with good blocking at the point of attack with Xanders, John Hill, and Dobler, all of whom did a good job. They have all the tight ends in there now, Hardy, Williams, and Childs. The Saints have a third down and a foot to go. They're on the four-yard line of the Packers. Uh, Williams had just passed for a touchdown. Baltimore 17, Tampa Bay 13. He might come out with a play action here. Let's see what he does. Third and a foot to go. Manning gives it to Strawn. Strawn trying to hit. And that's going to be close. He'll have to wait until he untangles. He slanted off his right tackle. The officials stop the clock with 10.56 remaining in this game. The Packers are ahead 21-12. And they're going to measure. Doug Williams, a nine-yard pass to Isaac Higgins. Baltimore 17, Tampa Bay 13. Baltimore had a 17-0 lead. Seven minutes to go in the second period in that game at Baltimore. What is it? Looks like he very close. It's hard to tell from this angle. I don't know. He didn't make it. Yes, he yeah, did. Yeah, they say he made it. Yep. Green Bay's not happy about that. It's first and goal to go. New Orleans on the Green Bay four-yard line. Very what? important that they get the ball in for the touchdown on this drive, uh, Kurt, and I wouldn't be a bit surprised to see him maybe run a play-action pass here on the first and four situation. Let's see what he does. He's first down and goal to go. New Orleans on the Green Bay four. The Saints are trailing by nine points. Manning gives the ball to Galbraith. Galbraith cuts back. And he whirls close to the goal line, but he stopped around the one-yard line. The cutback made it for him. And he continued slanting. Dauber's unhappy. Somebody had tangled up with his leg. Watch him cut back on this. Yeah, that's what he does so well, as I mentioned a little while ago. Xanders is out in front. But you see, he saw the running room inside and did a little twist. And uh, got it right down close to the goal line. Excellent running by Tony Galbraith. Now, Packer is injured. It may be Barzalaskas. I'm not sure. It, no, it's Mike Hunt, the middle linebacker. And it's going to be second down and a foot to go for a New Orleans touchdown. Rich Wingo will come in the game, number 50. Time remaining is 10 minutes, 19 seconds. And our score is the Green Bay Packers 21 and the New Orleans Saints 12. Second down, a, about a foot to go for an Orleans Saint touchdown. Here in the fourth period, Saints behind by nine points. Manning, the strong, he's in there. 
And the Saints are right back themselves. Mike Strawn of Iowa State playing in place of the injured Chuck Muncie, who was hurt early in the game. It's a trap play, and he finds the running room and dives into the end zone. Nice running on the part of Mike Strong. And that was a nice drive, Hank. 76 yards and 13 plays. Kept it going. And now the extra point. This can be very important. Galbraith. We're waiting to see who's going to kick it. He's Eddie tying Burns it. will hold it. He's tying his shoe, I think, Kurt. There he is. Galbraith has missed two short field goals and an extra point. Kicking in place of the injured Ertzleben today. Why, this is important. They're three points down now. His kick is up. It's good for Tony Galbraith. Well, and now a field goal could mean the difference for the Saints. So uh, we'll take a timeout here in County Stadium, Milwaukee. Green Bay 21, New Orleans 19. Kurt Gowdy and Hank Stram in Milwaukee is now a seat squirmer, a two-point game. The kick by Galbraith is tumbling to Odoms on the 10. Steve Odoms out to the 20, to the 25, to the 30, 35, and uh, the Packers will take over with the ball around their 37, 38 yard line at Buffalo. Ken Anderson hit uh, Billy Brooks 73 yards to put the uh, Bengals back in that game with Buffalo 24-17, and then Roland Hooks just ran 32 yards for a score. Buffalo 31, Cincinnati 17 in the fourth period. Cincinnati lost their opening game. They were shut out by the Denver Broncos. 37-yard line. Packers fall. They're ahead by two. Time remaining. 9.45. Steve Atkins. Atkins out to the 40. 45. 50. He may be on the way. The 30. The 25. The 20. Tripped up and down he goes. The rookie, Steve Atkins. There is the ball. Boy, can Almost he run. Almost over. He's had quite a second half, this rookie from the University of Maryland. And he and he does it so easy. Watch, it's the same sweep they've been running. Send a man in motion. Watch, he runs to the left. Barty Smith makes a nice block. Missed tackle by Tommy Myers, number 37. Grooms is chasing him, dives for him, and he's finally about knocked out of bounds by Clarence Chapman, number 24. You think hey, he might play. be a starter from now on? If he isn't, they better have an investigation. First and goal to go, Green Bay on the New Orleans three, a 60-yard run by rookie Steve Atkins. He has 96 yards and nine carries. Nearly 10 yards a carry in the game, and Bart Starr, that we hope he gets going, he's been a little timid. He hasn't been timid in this one. A cutback and a touchdown. Eric Torkelson, number 26, goes over. It took two plays. For the Packers to go 63 yards. And Harry Torkelson scores, and the Packers had their lead again. Here's the same play again, this time with Torkelson. They're running to the left side. He sees the alley, missed there. Tommy Myers finally makes the tackle, but it's not, no, Joe Campbell made the tackle, but it was too late. Number I'll never, 73. I'll never understand this game. The Packers go a game and a half, can't score a touchdown. They now scored four touchdowns in the second half of this one. You figure it out. Ed Burns are uh, holding now will be David Beverly, and Markle will kick it. 27-19 Packers is up, and this makes it 28-19. A 63-yard drive in two plays, and the Packers may have found a new star today in a rookie back by the name of Steve Atkins. It's 28-19 Green Bay. Green Bay, Walter Payton just galloped 27 yards for a score. The Bears lead the Vikings 26-7 in the fourth period. Bears on their way to their second win in a row. Kick by Marco. Rich body is deep. And it is taken by Holmes in the 25, into the 30, over the 35. Holmes brings it out to the 38-yard line of the Saints. And now they'll go to work with eight and a half to play. I don't know what's happened to Chester Marco. He used to bomb the ball down the field a long way. Uh, he hasn't kicked off very well here today at all. I don't know what's happened to him. Let's check Manning's uh, statistics. Archie Manning has attempted 30 passes in this game, completed 23, 238 yards. His leading receiver has been Chandler with nine catches for 74 yards. Child 
has caught five for 98 yards, a bad pass by Manning. Draw breath, 34, coming out of the backfield. One thing, Archie cannot be too hasty trying to get those points back. He has to be patient and do what he knows he can do, which he has done all afternoon long, really. They're still giving him the square out patterns on first and 10. I hate, hate to belabor the point, but they're open anytime he wants to throw the ball on first and 10. Just tied the Redskin. Jeff Tomlow to Freddie Scott, 24 yards. 24 all, Lions and Redskins. Yeah. Manning over the head of Galbraith. Third down, 10. Twice in a row. That's the first time I think the Saints have had two incomplete passes in succession. It didn't look like Tony Galbraith was aware of the fact the ball was underway. It flew right over the top of his head, but he never saw it sail over. Manning is so conscious about being hurt again. He's had so much bad luck with injuries that takes his family skiing out to Colorado, and he won't ski. He's a, he's the social director, and uh, his wife and sons do the skiing. I don't blame him. No, he's very, very wise. Yeah. I remember a baseball pitcher with a red sock. He did that. Game. Middle is wide open again, and one of those backs. Let's see what they do. There is the middle. Oh, quarterback. There draw. is the 40, middle. 45. First down, Manning. Quarterback draw play for Archie Manning, and Howard Sampson nailed him as he crossed the 50-yard line. I don't know how you. I don't care how you take the middle. The middle is wide open with the way they're covering. Archie wisely sees the running room. It's a quarterback draw. Gets what he needs for the first down, and here they go again. New Orleans on the Green Bay 49-yard line. First down, time remaining, 7.55, 28-19, Green Bay. Cardinals lead the Giants 27-14. Wayne Moore scored on a run, Jim Hart on a pass. Got to throw the, the got to throw the ball outside here. Let's see if he does on first and 10. Nope. There it is, outside. And that's over the head of the tight end, Childs, at the 40-yard line of the Packers. And number 46, Steve Luke, the strong safety, defended that one very well. Second down, 10. The Saints on the Packers, 49. The Saints just scored. The Packers took over and in two plays went 63 yards, featured by a 60-yard run by rookie Steve Atkins. Now the Saints are trying to come back and move it in. Roland, Roland Hooks had just scored again for the Buffalo Bills, four yards. They now lead Cincinnati 38-17. Second down 10 for New Orleans. Quick screen out to the right side to Tony Galbraith. At the 50, Galbraith gallops inside the 45, is dropped at the 43-yard line of Green Bay by Gary Weaver, the left linebacker. You know, Kurt, Kurt uh, John Hill, the offensive center for the Saints, number 62, doesn't get a lot of ink, a lot of publicity, but he's one of the very fine centers in the National Football League. He really is underrated. None of the centers ever get any ink. You're right. They don't. And they get a, as, not nearly as much as they deserve. a valuable position. Paul Brown's first draft pick was a center when he started the Cincinnati Bengals. Well, only time they get any ink is when they throw the ball over the kicker's head. Yeah. Third down and four for New Orleans. There is a first down at the 36, and carrying that ball that time. Uh, is uh, Mike Strawn, number 33, who's run hard today, plays to Chuck Muncie. Yeah, he's an excellent back, and uh, Conrad Dobler, the right guard that time, did a good job of trapping on the play along with John Hill blocking back. You mean the meanest man in town? <laughs> Dobler, he's been leading, uh, pulling out, and doing some great blocking today. Yes, he has. Came back from a knee injury last year. A little soft one, completed the 30. Down to the 28-yard line. Rich Wingo on Henry Child, who had just caught his sixth pass of the afternoon. Manning picking him here, picking him there, drawing the draw, pass. Keeps the drive going. Boy, the Saints have piled up a lot of yardage. Bob Kim will see what the unofficial offensive yardage for the Saints is right now for me. Will you please? It's got to be 350, 400 yards, and yet they're trailing. Second down. A long one and a half. There is Chandler jumping. Great leaper and it's broken up in the end zone. Incomplete. Estes Hood, 38. Johnny Gray, 24. Double teaming the dangerous with Chandler. 
Watch Chandler go down the field. Watch the spring that he has. He's in the end zone. Watch this. Watch this. There he is. Watch him leap. Hood did a good job of knocking the ball loose, but uh, Chandler, for his size, really uh, runs down the field and leaps like he's got springs in his shoes. Nearly intercepted. Well, you you played against a fella who used to leap like that. Lance Allward, the bounder. Yes, and of course, Otis Taylor was a great leaper also. Third down. A yard and a half for the Saints. They're trying to get that, and uh, don't, they may have it at the 25 of Green Bay. The three tight ends were in there. They just smacked straight ahead, good old-fashioned power, trying to carve it out, and they do have the first down. They have the first down. It's at the 25-yard line. The score, 28-19 Green Bay, five and a half to play. 433 total yards today for the Saints. Manning is at 25 out of 36 for 254 yards, and yet the Saints are behind. Manning, toss, and it is incomplete. Trapped off the turf at the 13-yard line by Chandler. There goes Chandler again, working on Hood. Drives him off, moves him back, and watch him. Plants his foot, comes back for the ball. Got a lot of room, but the ball is thrown a little bit too short. Hits the turf, incomplete. The Packers are bending, but uh, they haven't been giving up the big one. They're making Green Bay, I mean, uh, New Orleans work, work it out on the drive. Taking time. Manning, plenty of time. That pass intercepted by Green Bay. Johnny Gray. Still on the move. Gray at the 30, 35, 40. Fumbles the ball. New Orleans has the ball now. Ike Harris in command. And New Orleans gets the ball back again. Johnny Gray intercepts. He fumbles, and New Orleans has the ball back. Left on the back downfield. What a play. What a play. Archie throws the interception to Johnny Gray. Watch it, number 24. He steps up in front of the tight end, makes a good run, a missed tackle there by Mike Strawn. Great run. Great running here. Watch it. There's Ike Harris. John Hill made that tackle and jarred the ball loose, number 62. John Hill, number 62, the offensive center, made the tackle. All right, Henry, the last time the Saints had the ball, it was second and 10 on the Green Bay 25. Now they have a first down on their own 43, and Ike Harris, who scooped up that fumble, evidently has hurt his foot or his ankle. So they have a timeout on the field. They're going to help him out. That was a big play for the Saints because that would have been, pro been a problem with uh, the Green Bay Packers having that kind of field position with only four minutes and 52 seconds left in this contest. Gray's interception and run was 35 yards. Harris picked up the fumble. Ran it back five. Galbraith is out and Kim Jones is in. Kim Jones served as a bodyguard for Lyle Alzado in the Alzado Ollie boxing match this summer. First down. Saints ball on their own 43. They're trailing 28-19. 450 to play. Manning's toss complete inside the 40 to West Chandler. Chandler was nailed at the 39 by Johnny Gray. Gray is busy back there in that secondary. Here he goes, Archie comes right back and throws the ball right down the middle. The middle is wide open, right inside. Watch, beautiful, beautiful throw and a catch by West Chandler. West Chandler just goes down, goes beyond the linebackers, breaks to the inside, watch him. Breaks to the inside, the ball is right on the money. He's caught nine in this game. A little pitch out, that's dropped. You know what uh, they were thinking about on that one? Henry Childs was thinking about which way am I gonna pivot? before he caught the ball. Shall I spin left or shall I spin right? And lost his concentration of looking the ball into his gut. Exactly right, Kurt. That's a good observation. Second down, 10. New Orleans on the Green Bay 40-yard line. Score, 28-19 Green Bay. Green Bay trails 12 nothing at halftime. Sluggish in offense. They opened the second half with an onside kickoff. Recovered it, and they took off from there. Blair drop again. 
That's Kim Jones. He couldn't hold on to it. Now to third and ten. Mike Butler did a good job that time. Uh, Archie was going to throw the ball to Kim Jones. Butler is in his view that time and had to throw it out in front and low, and it fell incomplete. Time remaining, four minutes, 12 seconds. The Saints now are getting up against it. Big third down play for them. Henry Childs goes out. Brooks Williams, a second-year tight end from North Carolina, number 88, is in the lineup. Ike Harris is to the left, Chandler to the right. They almost have to go maybe to Chandler. Let's see the middle again. There's the middle. There it is to Chandler deep. Chandler's up. Chandler! Oh! Left. Good shot that was right on the money. It looked like he was going to get it. Watch it. Archie goes back into the pocket, throws it deep down in the middle area. Good concentration. Gets rid of it nicely. He's got the middle. Good recovery there by uh, Estes Hood, number 38. You don't think they don't respect Chandler? He doesn't leave that line of scrimmage without two men on him. Oh, that's exactly right. Plus the fact they start running backwards when he comes out of the huddle. Fourth down and ten. The Saints are behind by nine. Roger Finney replaces Roger Woods at right tackle. And the Saints have to gamble on this one, Hank. They only have now 4.03 to go. That time, Henry Childs was open. Somebody in the middle should be open, either a tight end or the back. Let's see how they get to 10 yards. Fourth down, 10 as Manning looks the field over. There it is. He's got him a first down. Flex pass by Manning to the third string tight end, Brooks Williams, number 88. First down, New Orleans, and they keep it moving. They're back to the 25 where they were when they lost the ball on an intercepted pass. They line up without a huddle. They're in the eye. Time moving on them. 3.37, they're trying to get Williams off the field. He's off. They're in a hurry up drill now. There it is. No good. Butler deflected it. Mike Butler, number 77, a first round draft pick three years ago. Second down, 10. Since 1970, the Packers have won 17 games, lost nine, and tied two here in Milwaukee. They're below 500 in Green Bay since 1970. Well, they like to play here in Milwaukee. You win, you like to play anywhere. Second down, 10 to go. That's complete to Childs at the 20. Five yard gain. He's hit by Mike Douglas. They're letting him have the short one, bending back, trying not to give him the, the TD, making them use the clock on their drives. Third down, five, New Orleans on the Packer 20 yard line. And they're lining up in a hurry. Rich Motti is in there. Wes Chandler's in there as a wide receiver. Ike Harris, three of them in the lineup. Well, Chandler's gone out. He's taken him to the sideline. He may have been banged up a little bit. And they run Jim Jones. Charles Johnson piles up the play, the rookie tackle of Maryland. Two Maryland rookies today. Been impressive. The running back, Atkins, the rookie, who's gained early, uh, who's gained 96 yards. Charles Johnson was made to have some key stops as a rookie at tackle. Third round pick. Atkins, a second round pick. Ivory of Georgia Tech, a number one pick, went down with a knee injury against the back. 221 to go. Fourth down and a yard and a half for the Saints. On the 17 yard line of the Packers. They stop him, and the Packers will take over. Jim Jones is stopped by Mike Butler. Packers ball, 210 to play. And they'll have a nine-point lead. Watch this charge by Butler. Look at that. He's got him. Conrad Dover pulled on the play. They didn't block Butler. Nobody touched him. He made the tackle. And it's possession, Green Bay. And there's your score, 28-19, Green Bay. Green Bay has a nine-point lead with two minutes and 10 seconds to play. David Whitehurst gives the ball off to the rookie, Steve Atkins. 
who picks up about three yards in that play, and the two-minute warning is, uh, well, it's not quite there yet. 2.02. Somebody call time? Timeout. New Orleans. New Orleans call time. Out. They have two timeouts left. Green Bay has two timeouts left. But they'll have three, really, because two-minute warning will be coming up soon, so they'll still wind up with three timeouts, which is a good call. United States Open Tennis Championships coming up next. The women's final, Chris Everett Lloyd versus Tracy Austin. The men's final, Edith Garolitis against John McEnroe. One of them will win the U.S. Open for the first time. CBS covering the U.S. Open all the way for you. 13 days of coverage. Well, it's uh, been two different games. The New Orleans game in the first half. They led 12 and a 60-yard run. And the three big plays of the second half. Roaring through there is Barty Smith. And he uh, probably had the first. Here's a final. New England 56. The New York Jets 3. 56 to 3, New England over the Jets. Gee, I really thought that New, New York was going to be a pretty good team this year. We're going to uh, take the timeout now, the two minute warning, and the score 28 19 in favor of Green Bay. Kurt Gowdy and Hank Stram, the last two minutes of this game. The Packers trying to protect the nine point lead. They have a first down on their own 29-yard line, or 28-yard line. David Whitehurst off to Barty Smith. Two timeouts left for the Saints. And the ball spotted now on the 31-yard line. Let's see how many yards the rookie Steve Atkins has today. Unofficially. He has New 99. Orleans, second timeout. New Orleans have just called a timeout. They have uh, one timeout left. On your left, the Green Bay Packers. Looks like they're going to salt this one away. They have won 11 National Football League championships. Ha! The last one was the 1968 Super Bowl game. And they beat the Oakland Raiders. Chuck Will has been out there. Today. And the Duker. Duke Struck, what a name. Duke Struck, I like that. I like a Hollywood leading man. Jose Producer, down the best. Richard Shapiro, the engineer in charge. Technical director, Mike Pinella. You know, let's, let's see. audio here. today by Mike. Let's see, Kurt. They did, they did such a good job of running outside. They put the flankers to one side or the other, set him in motion, and ran away from him, made some big gains. Let's see if, see if they try to do this on this drive. Does this joint the safety man and get outside and make a big play? This is, this is really dismal frustration when you're behind like this. You're down to one timeout. What can you do? Here's a club freezing the ball against you. Atkins has 100 yards. Steve Atkins, the rookie, has 100 yards in the second half. 60 on a one play, but uh, he's he's really made this ball club today. He'll be a first stringer probably from now on. Groom stopped him to left end. Number two draft pick, Gerland Moore. The Packers set out to get more speed at running backs. They got a bad break losing the number one pick, Ivory, of Georgia Tech, who holds the all-time NCAA record for most yards rushing in one game. But the number two pick with a solid pick. Oh, what a trap! Atkins again breaking through, Steve Atkins. They'll go for it, 57 to left guard, and then a good trap block, trap block, I should say, on the defensive left tackle, twice, and he popped through there in good shape. Another first down for the uh, Green Bay Packers. Final coming up, Detroit, Washington. The Redskins won at 27 to 24. They were ahead 24 to 3. The Lions rallied to tie it. And a field goal, 41 yards by Mark Mosley with eight seconds to go. One in for the rest. First down, Packers. Marty Smith bangs ahead. They're just trying to freeze it out. They're down to eight seconds. 
And the Packers are going to win their first game of the season. They wondered if they were ever going to score. They won a game and a half, and they win it. A comeback win. That's Mark Starr taking hands with Dick Nolan. Starr's team is on the win column. The Saints have now had two leads against Atlanta and Green Bay and blowing them both, and they're 0 and 2. And we'll be back here as Archie Manning's being congratulated by Bart Starr. A satisfying win for Green Bay. They found offense today. They found a rookie running star in Steve Atkins and a quarterback that played well in the second half, David Whitehurst. And New Orleans must really be wondering about that defense of theirs. They've now allowed 68 points in two games, and they've let leads of 14 and 12 points uh, halfway through a game slip away from them. And they just couldn't stop Green Bay in the third quarter this afternoon. And offensively, I don't think I've ever seen them look better in that first half. They did a lot of things. They moved the ball around real well. Archie Manning did a great job of picking the defenses. But uh, the bad thing about it was they didn't generate any points. Uh, they didn't get touchdowns. They got field goals instead of, instead of touchdowns. Here's, Here's a, a rookie. Let's watch him. Steve Atkins, the number two draft pick. He's number 32. Hank Stram said... Watch him. It breaks the tackle here. Well, see, watch him hit there. Look at that. Just shook him right off. Yeah, Tommy Myers misses the tackle. He goes right down the sideline. Alois Grooms has great speed. He can't catch him. Pat Hughes is chasing. But Clarence Chapman from the far side of the field made the tackle. Unofficially, Atkins wound up with 110 yards and 12 carries. <laughs> Pretty good average. And let's give some credit to David Whitehurst, Henry. He had five for five in the second half of the passing. Yes, he did a good job, and you have to give Bart Starr and his staff a tremendous salute for the great job that they did in the second half. And you know, one of the other things, here's another shot of that play. Here's Torkelson this is, scoring. Here's Torkelson scoring on the very same play. Barty Smith makes a good block on the defensive right tackle. Derlin Moore. Joe Campbell makes a tackle, but it's too late. You know, the other player that they miss a lot here in New Orleans in the secondary is Maurice Spencer, the defensive right corner who was out with a bad neck. But uh, we thought he was going to be an all-pro player when we had him several years ago, and he's had some unfortunate things happen to him, and I'm sure they miss him tremendously. A lot of first downs in this game. At 19 or 29. Let's see. Uh, the Packers had 21 first downs, and uh, the Saints at 29. West Chandler, another big day. Ten uh, catches, mostly little sideline outs. But the Packers rally and won it with 28 points in the second half. Final score, 28-19. Kurt Gowdy, Hank Stram, bid you goodbye. The NFL and CBS in the presentation of CBS Sports. wide right and scores so it's 17 to 3 Redskins then in the fourth quarter with Washington leading 24 to 10 the Lions ball second and 10 at the Redskins 12 and the handoff goes to Rick Kane he bursts around the left side 12 yards touchdown 24 to 17 Redskins still in the fourth quarter the score still 24 17 Washington Lions ball third and eight at the Redskins 24 and Number 19, Jeff Comlo. Throws an absolute strike to Freddie Scott, the young man from Amherst who used to be with Baltimore. That tied it up at 24. Then a missed Mark Mosley, 46-yard field goal. Detroit penalized for too many men on the field. Now, Mosley with a second chance. Only eight seconds left. There's the kick. And Mosley, unerring. The Redskins win it 27-24 over the Detroit Lions. This is Memorial Stadium in Baltimore. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers going against the Colts. Action picked up in the fourth quarter. Baltimore leading 17-13. Baltimore third and nine at their own 40. Greg Landry throws to Glenn Dowdy, but the ball is intercepted by number 40, Mike Washington. Look at him go all the way downfield. Now watch closely. Carrying the ball like a loaf of bread. Was he in or was he not? Let's take another look. There is Mike Washington as he approaches the goal line. Well, the officials ruled he was in. You people judge for yourselves. That put Tampa Bay ahead. And then they moved it up to 26-17. 
Then Baltimore's ball, third and 13 at their own 33, and Greg Landry hit Brian Daru, the kid who didn't make it with the Giants. And Daru looks like he should have in this play, all the way downfield, touchdown. The score tied at 26, then into overtime. In overtime, Baltimore will pick up with the ball, third and 10 at their own 20. And you watch closely as we get to that action. Brian Daru never dreamed that this could have happened to him. He's the kid from Redlands, California. Now here is Greg Land on his own 20. And the ball taken from him and picked off by Tampa Bay. That set it up for a fellow named Neil O'Donohue, and here he is. The field goal attempt is good. Tampa Bay remains unbeaten, defeating the Colts 29 to 26. San Diego Stadium and the Chargers with a powerhouse club this year going against the hated Raiders. And what a time the Chargers gave Kenny Stabler. He couldn't even breathe during the day. And they're doing this without Louis Kelcher, the great one, out for the season with an injury. They're all over Stabler that way all day. And they showed it early in the very look at Stabler just disgusted nothing he could do about it that San Diego pass rush was too much but in the first quarter San Diego showed what was about to happen quarterback Dan Fouts back to pass and throwing deep downfield to the former Ram tight end Bob Klein who somehow was all alone down there and this is not a speed step but it was a touchdown seven to nothing and then it went on to 14 to nothing with that play and they won it 30 to 10. The Orange Bowl in Miami. The Seahawks of Seattle against the Dolphins. And in the stands, an old friend. There he is, the tie salesman, Garo Yapremian, released 